Oh. Um, uh, Dewin Aether, $2 Super Chat. Something, something that is not Batgirl. <laughs> Let y'all get tucked the fuck in. On Haggis, a six ninety nine super chat late, and a display of homosexuality. All right, I think we can stop now. All right, originally I was gonna do a stream on TikTok shifting. It's 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 uh this thing where the residents of TikTok, mainly fucking kids with a Harry Potter fetish, uh, they believe they can transport through different uh, shifting through different universes. Usually their favorite universe, uh, like movie universe, like Marvel or Harry Potter, some shit like that. But then I decided against it because it's just going to be me. Like, because like I said, it's mostly Harry Potter shit. And most of the time it's just going to be me talking about, wow, these kids are so mentally fucking ill. <laughs> it's more uh, depressing than anything. Um, Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $5 Super Chat. Super excited for the stream. Your streams are always so much fun. Thank you. Shelby MD, $2 super chat. You ever been called out by someone you made a event on? <laughs> Not really. I mean, there was that one guy, I was talking about his cuties, uh, his cuties video, and he was in chat, like, um, want, wanting to debate me. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> I don't know, no. <laughs> It's almost like it's what he like. I think he's like somebody who was like checking for somebody, uh, who was talking shit about him and just like oh, looking for, <laughs> and just like wanted to. I don't know. I maybe he is a contra like a purposeful contrarian. I think, like maybe he wanted the pushback. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that was the only guy who uh, had a problem with what I said about his, his video. Anyway. Yeah, I wanted to, I, this has been a long time coming because I've done TikTok responses to feminist, like just regular feminist uh, TikToks. <clears throat> but male feminists are like spe a special kind of pathetic. Like they, <laughs> they like, cause it, they're like, either they're, they have mommy issues or it's just, they're so desperate for female approval. And not just sexual, just like emotional, like just any kind that they will just say anything for it. Anything. Pastel Loca, $5 super chat. Hey Jay, first time sending a super chat. I like your videos, they're funny. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, like I said, they'll, they'll say fucking anything just for a chick to, like just to smell a chick's body butter in their general, in their general vicinity. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's just sad. It's just sad. Grin Akuma, a five pound super chat. You hear uh, someone is a male femme. Uh, you pull that piece and ask him to step back. That dude is sleazy as fuck. Uh, oh, David Bowden, $50 super chat. Shit. First ever super chat. Been waiting all uh, for this all day. TikTok feminism was great. This can only be worse, better. <laughs> True. Uh, Grain A Salt, two ninety nine super chat. Didn't Bunty King respond? Oh, right, Kea, yeah, technically he did. Techni well, no, I, I kind of instigated it. I mean, he just generally hates people who talk shit about him anyway. Like, I, he didn't, I don't think he responded to me uh, personally. But he just, he like, he hates anybody who just talks shit. Uh, Mr. N, $5 super chat. Hi, honey, Prime Daddy, <laughs> Prime Daddy is home. And uh, some hieroglyphics. 
<laughs> well, thank you, Mr. N. Thank you for that. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, Pink Chai, I think. Uh, J. Longbone, I'm going to be 18 in about uh, half a month. Uh, congratulations. Get ready for me to send you constant super chats. Oh, shit. All right, slow down. You want to go to college, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Thank you, and I hope you have a good birthday. But anyway, let's let's get on this. Like I said, male feminist, pathetic. We all know that. But like TikTok, TikTok is its own special brand of cringe. Like the format in itself is just its own brand of autism. Like you can't, you can't express any point of view on TikTok without looking embarrassing because there's something about this format. It just... It do, it's not flattering to people. On Hog, uh, uh, on Hoggis, I was about to say, on Haggis, thirteen ninety nine super chat. All male feminists are cuties, cuties supporters. Speaking of which, is Movie Bob on TikTok? I hope to God he is not on TikTok. Oh Jesus! Albatross five dollars super chat. Jay streaming on a Friday night. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Oh eight, <laughs> ADSD vids and stop motion. The word niggardly means stingy. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit Mr. N5 on the super chat isn't Ethan Klein a male feminist uh yeah he says that like like all fe- male feminists he says that but he doesn't really mean it like there's I remember that other clip there's a clip of him saying that women like to be conquered and all this shit and then uh Filthy Frank is behind him cringing <laughs> and like I said yeah with the way uh like he, before he was friends with Trisha he was talking mad shit about her about her appearance and shit and so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's not. He just says, like, he's another one. He just says whatever he... He just says whatever he says for, at, at, in the moment. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Tomo, Tomo Bato, $5 Super Chat. While we're, on, while we're here on Cringe Talk, you want to look at the witches of it? There's people out there that genuinely believe they are witches. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know about that. All right, let's get on this. Let's, let's do it. I kind of already like skimmed through the catalog because I wanted to know what the hell I was dealing with. I didn't want it. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't want to come up dry in this in this category. I didn't want it like, oh, uh, well, I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed, but I still didn't want it to be lacking to where I couldn't get any fucking content out of this shit. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $2 Super Chat. I love conquering the whammons. Don't we all? Giddy, uh, Giddy 328, oh, shit. four ninety nine Super Chat. I still go back to that Bunty vid every now and again. Your editing is uh, fudging funny. Thank you. Frankenfoda, $5 Super Chat. Hey, baby girl, if <laughs> I hear a man calling himself a feminist, I run, yeah. I just wish, like, I, you just wish that some of them were meant well, well adjusted mentally. Anyway, this guy right here though, I just want to forewarn you guys. This guy, well, it's going to be obvious when you see the video, but this guy is a parody male feminist and it's pretty funny. So like periodically we will look at his videos just like to even out the cringe because he, this guy's funny and I think he deserves to be boosted. I've actually tried inserting a tampon into myself so I can better relate to what women go through. Timothy bitch boy, <laughs> professional pick me. Of course I support <laughs> women. I have the links to so many petitions in my Insta bio. Timothy bitch boy, professional pick me. I don't believe in penetrative sex. Most women just find it uncomfortable anyways. Timothy bitch boy, follow for more pick me quotes to live by. <laughs> I've actually tried. <laughs> oh, this is, I like you. I like you, bro. I like you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, I saw some more super chats. Uh, Grain. Oh, did I miss something? No. Okay, Grain A Salt, four ninety nine super chat. I have Asperger's, but I have a feeling I'll have more social awareness than these things. <laughs> On Haggis, six ninety nine super chat. Is that Sargon in those three TikToks? No. <laughs> no. Uh, God damn it! Stop scrolling, chats. Aspie Auntie, five dollars super chat. The first time. Sending a super chat. Love your content. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, from now on, I'm gonna like let a few super chats go every now and then, and I'll read like every what every five, I guess. It depends on how fast uh, this goes by. But yeah, let's check it. Take a look at that. This one. 
Hang on, I think I have to mute this shit. <laughs> Copyrights. Oh, when he doesn't rape you. Basically, you got like a fuckboy male feminist, um, like one of those ones who just that are so obviously putting an act on. Like he's a uh, he <laughs> making a TikTok on like affirmative consent. Like explicit consent, like when you're constantly, constantly, constantly checking in to make sure she's cool. <laughs> and we finally got a girl on this fucking platform with common sense who sees right through the shit. So, yeah, thank God for that. Okay, we got two so far that are fine. Let's get, like, let's ignore this guy for a while because I want some more cringe. Oh no, this doesn't look good. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so like she lists male feminists, but here's the thing, <laughs> here's the thing about that. Um, You're listing Hollywood actors, sweetie. This is not, no. This nigga's 14. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, he's dead. <laughs> Like, this is not a good example of male feminist. If you can't list male feminists, like positive role model male feminists, mentally stable motherfuckers in real life, this shit means nothing. They're actors. Oh, like the most liberal fucking <laughs> profession where they fucking uh, exile you if you don't have the right uh, politics. They're, all the men, all the good looking men who have careers are feminists? Oh, what luck! <laughs> what luck! Come on, girl. Like, you really... <laughs> Look at all these good-looking male actors who are male feminists. Step it up, men. <laughs> like, girl, they're acting. Like, they would literally... They would literally slide in your DMs for nudes and never call you again. <laughs> And you fall for it like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I, we don't need to see any more of that. Like, it's just a list of male feminists who happen to be good looking um, actors. <laughs> not, not a good example. Anyway. That the bar is way too low. Hang on. Dang it. So tell me when you realized that the bar is way too low. And it was less of a single event and more of a gradual realizing of just how fucked my gender is. I don't know if I've ever been thanked for stopping when someone says no. I don't, I do not like this. His shirt is open and shit. I don't like this motherfucker already. <laughs> I don't like you already, man. You're, why is your shirt open in this fucking video? I think I missed a super chat. Let's handle that. Uh, Grin Akuma, five pound super chat. That talcum in the Winter Soldier stream was amazing. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, y'all. It must be y'all. Must mean the EFAP. Uh, yeah, that was. Ugh. <laughs> I wish I would have talked more, but like a part of me is like was like holding back because I'm gonna do a review on that, and I don't want to talk too too much shit more shit i don't want to talk more shit than i have to but anyway yeah i don't like this dude he he already has he's way too done up shirt is fucking open this is <laughs> this is like an app that kids use and it's like <laughs> we all know what happened the last time when tiktok first got popularity and you had a butt like when the butt a got caught out here trying to uh uh hook up with fucking teenage girls like, I'm just saying, I'd be more mindful. Like, just because celebrity adults are on here doesn't suddenly mean you can uh, be all uh, ass out <laughs> on this fucking website. I'm just saying. No during sex, but I've definitely been thanked for not guilt tripping someone about it. Being told that someone trusted me to get their female friend home when she was too drunk. The frankly upsetting amount of times that I've been thanked just for wearing a fucking condom. The final one. The final one is when I've been told that I'm not really a guy because I'm just too fuckable. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not a humble brag at all. <laughs> I've been thanked just for wearing a condom. Uh, you know, you could just... See, that's more... Tell... That tells you more about the woman in that situation than the male gender. Because, bitch, how you gonna fuck somebody who doesn't want to use a condom? I'm sorry, but uh, as soon as you say no, that's it. Like... So because you couldn't control yourself and just like, nah, fuck it. 
don't need a condom. Like, we don't need a condom because you're, you're just so awesome. <laughs> and then you regret it later because, oh, shit, I, there's a little bit of... There's a little flo fallopian fungus down there now, and I regret this shit. Well, yeah, you're you're dumb. You fucked a guy without a condom. Why would you do that? No man is worth that. <laughs> like, no offense, guys, but uh, none of y'all are worth getting an STD over. None of you. <laughs> not a fucking one of you. <laughs> Nobody is worth. Not a and women. It, that goes for women too. Ain't none of you motherfuckers worth getting an STD over. None of you. It ain't that fucking good. <laughs> anyway, next. I'm turning this down. I don't give a fuck. Men in my comments calling me a feminist is an insult. Everything I need to know about you. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I think I missed another one before this. Mr. N file a super chat. This man is a weird. <laughs> I'll disproportionate it with that P head of his, uh, that P head of his attached body. Uh, his, his, of, oh my God. That P head with that P head of his attached to a box shaped body. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea, uh, Dru Druin? Druin? Oh my god, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. $2 super chat. Well, he's never satisfied a woman. P.S. You're amazing. Thank you! Oh, Black Magpie. This looks like a, uh, a Tumblr fake story. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, Grin Ekuma, two pound super chat. I don't think this dude knows about Sfa- Oh, I, I, oh, okay. I think I see what you're trying to say. I don't think this guy knows about pussy. <laughs> Me glad they understand a feminist. Okay. Oh, they understand I'm a feminist. Okay. Oh yeah, this loser. I think I've seen. I I thought he was like a some kind of parody fe uh, feminist, and he could still be. But then I saw a post like somewhere in within this tag that uh. That advertised like a meetup with all like the male feminists on TikTok, and he was one of them. So I'm thinking, me, oh damn, this is unironic. Oof, <laughs> yikes! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. What? Do we, what do we, oh, we got this guy again. Jesus. So here's why I really don't care for comments that ask me to wear a French maid outfit or something. It's not that I'm opposed to wearing it. I'm a pole dancing burlesque performer who owns three pairs of pleasers. Come on. But I really just don't fucking care for the insinuation. I'm fine with being objectified. Half of my income currently comes from being objectified. Oh, he's fine with it being objectified. <laughs> fine. But I will be objectified on my terms, thank you. The way that people often ask to see men in skirts or men in a French maid outfit or whatever makes me think it's not so much about my pleasure as it is you getting off on seeing the humor of a very masculine presenting man wearing something feminine. If I'm gonna do that, and by the way, I've made money doing that, I'm gonna do it on my terms. And if you get any gratification from that, awesome, but that's not the point. Like, awesome, but I'm not gonna put on any traditionally feminine clothing because you find it funny. There are two ways of breaking gender barriers. There is one that is respon- mm. <laughs> So he thinks the women who ask him to wear uh, feminine shit which is like, don't advertise if you don't, if you feel if you feel uncomfortable about people asking you. This is TikTok, but ain't none but a bunch of fucking idiotic retrobates and fucking <laughs> idiotic retrobates with no um with no consideration for people's uh, bodily autonomy. Like we like we've had whole ass pedophiles on this app. <laughs> Remember that. Ryland fight all the super chat as a woman. Whenever a guy brags to me about how he's a feminist, my fighter, uh, fight or flight uh, goes off. True. But yeah, um, a woman like women like the uh, like especially I'm seeing on Twitter that some a lot of women like the uh, the femboy shit. So like I don't understand. Like does he subconsciously think? Like does he think they subconsciously want to just laugh at him? Or is he like just sub <laughs> or is like wait what is it? I don't. I'm not surprised that he's uh, distrustful of women. He's a fucking male feminist. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. But like, dude, like if you do this as a job, what's the problem? They hit you up on you know, OnlyFans or whatever. What's the problem? But like I said, like yeah, this is uh, th like this is TikTok. This is not a good platform. 
<laughs> it's not a good platform at all. Not for sexual, not for sexual autonomy at all. You you picked the wrong motherfucking place. Uh, Mickey Gussler, Mike, sorry, Mikey Gussler, five fifty dollars super chat. Oh, another one. Uh, did you see that Warner Brothers released a video on their YouTube channel? That's a that is a four K trailer of Justice League. I think they are incompetent. I think they are an incompetent company who likes to make people upset. Why do they want a bunch of money thrown at the? Why do they? Ugh, why do they not? Excuse me. What a bunch of money thrown at them? Ignorance. You know, I don't fucking know. Ugh. Just fucking ridiculous. I mean, I mean <laughs> some companies want to fail, and like I don't, I don't know what's up with that. I just don't know. Regardless of, regardless of what went on between y'all and Zack Snyder, you should want to make fucking money first and foremost. Okay. <laughs> Like what happened to the what happened to the to the Hollywood that was just like I just want to make money whatever is gonna get us what's ever gonna get eyes on the screen and asses in the seats let's do it let's fucking do it <laughs> I don't give a fuck controversy people used to Hollywood used to love controversy now they feel like oh I don't know I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. geeks and gamers might show up <laughs> like just get the fuck out of here. Anyway, Mr. N5 Dollar Super Chat. Oh, great. It's P Head again. Marcus Territory. Stop it. <laughs> oh, true. Responsible and thoughtful and agent driven and respectful and doesn't objectify anyone and lifts all genders up. And then there is objectifying a masculine presenting figure wearing a French maid outfit and laughing about it with your girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> this is what. Well, well, you know what, bruh? This is. With every male fem, all that male fem, feminist groveling bullshit, you you are you're encouraging this fucking this climate. You're encouraging that shit. That's what happens when you lick the boot, lick the shoes of women. Like they don't fucking respect you. Duh. <laughs> do, do you get it now? You get it now. I hope you get it now. I hope you fucking understand. Yeah, these hoes don't fucking. <laughs> These hoes don't respect you. Who knew that they were just using you as a tool for like sexual gratification and stuff for someone like t just for someone that has videos that they could tweet to guys that they're that, that, that they're fucking arguing with on Twitter. That's all you're there for, bro, bruh, to these fucking feminists. That's all you were there for. That's what they like feminists, man. <laughs> That's what they do. So I've been oh, here he is again. Uh. Trying to come up with a list of acceptable names to use when you're dirty talking during sex. And I'm not saying anyone should make a note of this, but for some reason, all the names for women seem to focus on degrading their sexuality by implying that they sleep around a lot. And all <sighs> Because, like, you're fucking. It's about, like, getting in the mindset of dirtiness. And debauchery. How do you, as you, as someone who partakes in debauchery and like makes money off that shit, how do you not know that? <laughs> how do you not understand that? My nigga. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. That groveling is like you, it's getting in the way of you thinking logically. All the dirty talk names for men tend to focus on how they like getting fucked by other men. Setting aside all the sexism and ingrained homophobia stuff. We have on one hand a culture that says to women don't sleep with many men. On the other hand a culture that says to men don't sleep with many men. Even our p Okay, what the fuck? Mr. Ren, five dollars super chat, Judy Hops, dot dot dot. Oh, by the way, yeah, I, I saw that, uh, that Boar book, that the latest Borba comic you know, the third installment of the trilogy is fin. Well, it's not quite finished. Like Borba said, he was, had like an extra part to tack on that, like eight more pages. So I'm going to wait for all that shit to be done. And then, then I'm going to do a reading for it. Oh, I'm the dictator man needs to sell some of his ego. He can make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Just the way he, he carries himself. He comes off really fucking smug. And like, bruh, like, tone it down, tone it down. <laughs> and then like, and then and like in the fucking other TikTok, he was complaining about women objectifying him. The same women he caters to. Cause, the, cause yeah, those are the women in your fucking comment section. 
saying yes queen and all this bullshit and then they're in your fucking dms talking about can you dress as a french maid so i can fucking laugh at you <laughs> you fuck boy you ain't shit <laughs> yeah yeah who knew that they were you know they were yeah you know, the same people who praise you are the same ones who are uh, uh who are uh dehumanizing you yeah who knew who knew a uh, grin akuma two pound super chat why portray straight <laughs> uh mikey Gu shit mikey gussler ten dollar super chat a response to a tweet from wb shop uk about the 4k release of Zack snyder's justice league with restore restore the snyderverse and wb uk shop with may 24th is confirmation it's restored or a troll oh i don't fucking know I just want to be honest. I just want to sit back and enjoy this goddamn movie. <laughs> Tay, fight all the super chat. What's with this? What's with this guy? He's freaking strange. Like, yeah, he comes off. Of, you, you know? Oh shit! You know what's a perfect fucking? You know what's a perfect nickname for him? Like, y'all remember when I used to call Riley Dennis a uh, fagnito? Well, he, this guy, going from off his general look and demeanor and how he's like up his own ass. I, I'd call him homo lander. <laughs> like, <laughs> like homo, like homelander. <laughs> oh shit. Homo lander. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, Mr. N fought all the super chat. Yas. This Jacksepticeye looking motherfucker. PS. I, I put Yas in to annoy you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Dylan Aether, $5 super chat. Yeah, boy. Uh, Zach, it's mentally unwell to tell strangers you are a good person. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Zach said it's mentally unwell to tell strangers you're a good person. Yeah, basically. Oh, homo lander. That's <laughs> Adam Wofford, $5 super chat. I'm taking he hasn't been with a woman or a man no he said he was bisexual at one point because I, like i said i did skim through some of these videos he said he was bisexual so and don't understand we just like getting down and dirty sometimes she likes being called being the bad girl da -da -da. yeah like does he not understand some women like to be called like a filthy little slut whore bitch in bed like some chicks like that shit biclops homolander <laughs> Ah, Mikey Gustler, five dollars super chat. I'm ready for Resident Evil Village. I pre-ordered the deluxe steel book edition from Best Buy. How about you, baby girl? Oil? Um, yeah, I did pre-order it. I pre-ordered it when I got paid, and I will be playing it uh, May seventh. Maybe I'll stream it. I'm not fucking promising anything. <laughs> oh, Homo Lander. <laughs> Grin Akuma, two, two pounds super chat, jacked septic brown eye. Oh, God. <laughs> Wolf Spain, five dollars super chat, because most women get turned on by being degraded, like how many articles have these femme uh, journos, uh, right, being attracted to perceived misogynists. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who knew? Like, yeah, like even the women, like, of course, the women he rolls with, who I'm pretty sure are feminists, uh, they're not going to tell him. Because, like, that's not, women don't do that. They're not going to fucking tell, at least, feminist women who are so hyper, so hyper focused on what other women think about them or, like, what empowered, like, what an empowered woman is. They're not going to tell other people that they're into being smacked and shit. They're not going to tell anybody that. They're not going to tell anybody that. So, all of them, all the women he rolls with probably tell me, yeah, I don't, oh, I hate that. Being called a slut in bed? Gross. <laughs> When they fucking lying. Um, Joe Many Memes, five dollars super chat by the power of gay skull. She man. I have the power. She man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Biclops is pretty good. I'm still I'm still on Homo Lander. <laughs> because he looks he's got his hair, but like it's flouncy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his hair, but it's flouts. And then of course he's got the ironic facial hair. Like it's all it it just it just Oh Devin Hood, bye dude here. Screw him in the worst way. <laughs> anyway, oh let's continue. Patriarchal ass culture knows that men are crap in bed.
So I've been trying to come up. Huh? I'll well, replay that because I, I had no idea what he was just saying. Names to use when you're dirty talking during sex. And I'm not saying anyone should make a note of this, but for some reason. Yeah, I can't stand people who do like all like the super acting. <laughs> Like the the overacting and like it's just TikTok, bro. Like what's with the acting? All the names for women seem to focus on degrading their sexuality by implying that they sleep around a lot. And all the And a lot of women like it. Like how can you look at the sales of Fifty Shades of Grey? Or see what women say about Henry Cavill? on AO3 or Tumblr on a daily basis and think that, oh, women don't like that degrading stuff. <laughs> I have seen literal Henry Cavill rape porn. I'm not even fucking kidding. Which is fine, I don't know, this shit. But hey, look, but lying <laughs> and saying that women aren't into pfft, whatever, they're not into that degrading stuff. That's fucking ridiculous. Cause I'm, th that's, cause that's the implication here. That just men are the only ones who like it. I'm sorry, but men weren't the ones fucking buying Fifty Shades of Grey when it first uh, came out. <laughs> sorry, no. No. <laughs> Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $2 Super Chat. Is PC powerful enough to play Resident Evil 8? Are you sure? Uh, I checked and it said, um, like the minimum requirements is like eight gigabytes of RAM and I'm not good with graphics cards, like, <laughs> but you have to look that shit up. But it says like the minimum is like uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and the, and maximum requirements is like 16 gigabytes. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you broke niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm just playing. But yeah, I should be like, yeah, if you got 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM and a nice graphics card, you should be fine. That's what that's what it said. And I think you need like um, 50 gigabytes of space for that game, I think. I don't know. I forgot. Uh, Frank Inferter, $5 Super Chat. He's a thought. He's a bisexual. You pay, him, uh, pay for his OnlyFans. He gets sexual. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... 531 moths, a uh, moths, a uh, 50, uh, 40 rubles. He looks like a malnourished Quentin reviews. I wouldn't go that far. Have you seen Quentin reviews lately? Ugh, don't put that on him. Wary statue, uh, 33 born again, $5 super chat had overtime today. I spent 10 hours doing nothing anyways. <laughs> anyways, who's this cuck? <laughs> oh shit. Excuse me. Pinup doll, 1996, $2 super chat. Um, I need a link for the Henry Cavill stuff. <laughs> the rape porn, I forgot. No, actually, no, I know where it is. I, I think I have a link to one. <laughs> I don't know why I fucking admitted, that, admitted to that when you were clearly joking. <laughs> Grin Akuma, two pound super chat. We should call him Tofu because he's pouring soy. Damn. Adam Wofford, five dollars super chat. Um, I guess he should never go to watch any of, uh, Anna, that, oh, that Star Wars girl, when it comes to Henry, she would have kidnapped him moist as she can. <laughs> yeah. Mikey Gussler, $5 Super Chat. Do you like fighting games? I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat 11 lately. What fight, fighter would you choose to be? And would you stream fights from MK, M, uh, Mortal Kombat? Actually, I'm playing a lot of Tekken right now. I'm pay playing Tekken 7. Runs really pretty good on my computer. Like I like, I, I actually like uh, like certain aspects of the game. I'm not gonna get into detail because we've only been on like a couple TikToks so far. Uh, Guy Ortiz, five dollars super chat. He has a cellar full of wine bottles filled with his aged farts. Uh, Big Mitchy, five dollars super chat. Did you just say I'm not good with graphics cards and then say it needs uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM? As if they're the same, may God help you. I didn't say it was the same. I just said, I, I just know that it requires 16 gigabytes of RAM or like eight to 16. Graphics cards are different from RAM cards. <laughs> Mr. N, $5 Super Chat, Marcus Territory, or as I call him, McGaver is, is an absolute tragedy. He makes Mercutio look like a sunny day in the park. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this shit. All the dirty talk names for men tend to focus on how they like getting fucked by other men. Setting aside. Huh? 
Uh, okay. I, uh, I guess I'll buy that. <laughs> I don't the second. Like, keep in mind, he does fuck other men, and I don't think he would know what it, like, what it looks like between a girl and a guy. <laughs> or maybe, like, maybe that's his preference, and he just thinks all men think that way. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> and ingrained homophobia stuff. We have on one hand a culture that says to women don't sleep with many men. On the other hand, a culture that says to men don't sleep with many men. Even our patriarchal ass culture knows that men are crap in bed. So I've been trying. What? what the fuck is he talking about? Have you ever heard someone talk and then, like, yay, yeah, speak very clearly, not that fast, like, they, they speak normally, and you just don't understand a word they're fucking saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't get Don't get it, bruh. Like, what the fuck? Let's try somebody new, like this guy. He's in the thumbnail, so I'm not gonna pretend like I don't know him. <laughs> but I didn't see this one. I, I saw the ones where he, his beard was already pink. Hooters. Hooters literally wrote the book on objectifying women. Like, I knew Hooters sucked, but I didn't know how much. Gave me this today. Pretty much an updated rule book, and I'm gonna go. For one thing, why would you go apply for a job at Hooters knowing that you hate their patriar patriarchal, misogynistic, dehumanizing, degrading fucking restaurants? <laughs> Don't work out of place. Where you gotta take your clothes off, then complain you have to take your clothes off, or like where, or we're next to nothing. Don't do that. Go over some of the stuff in it with you guys. Makeup is not optional. You must come to work photo shoot ready. Hair must be natural colors. And okay, where's the proof? You just showed a. You just kind of flashed this little poster board, and it was like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> blended naturally. If you have blonde hair, no black highlights, no peeling or chip nail polish, no jewels, glitter, or nail art. Guess I'm taking these off. In some states, no nail. Yeah, yeah, you're not showing any proof, so I don't care. <laughs> and of course, oh, look at our male feminist. He's so outraged. <laughs> He's so outraged. Oh, you poor, uh, you poor 20-year-old girl. Come suck my dick. <laughs> None of these piercings. Tattoos must be covered. If you choose to get a piercing or tattoo during your employment. So they don't allow piercings. So fucking what? Then don't wear piercings then. Like if you don't, but if you don't like those requirements, don't fucking work there. That's not necessarily a bad thing. You can't wear piercings and shit in a professional setting at work, at like at a professional setting, like at a desk job either. Anyway, like what the fuck? <laughs> Did they, has she never had a job before? You will not be able to work until it's covered or removed. You can only use these brands of makeup. You must appear to live a healthy lifestyle and appears physically active, muscle tone and carries herself upright. Oh, they let hot chicks work at their restaurant and they don't want them to be fat. That don't fucking work there. Is this like, oh, who knew that this place filled with hot, scantily clad women only allowed hot, willing to be scantily clad women? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got him. You got Hooters, man. You got him. Got him. <laughs> you cracked the code on that. Who knew the, the, their requirements are so stringent? Let's be real. Like in other places, it's not um, 100%. Um, it's not a, uh, it's not written in stone. Not written in stone, but it's, it's not a written rule that you can't walk in with piercings and shit. Sloppy looking. But like, let's be real. The only reason why you have a problem with this is because it's blatantly, or it's blatantly stated so you can go on TikTok and you do a little whiny bitch, <laughs> like do the whining and the bitching and all that shit. That's the only reason. My, my ego is bruised. Right. None of these hairstyles are allowed. You are required to smile and make eye contact. Hooters girls don't. Yeah, you're in a hospitality field, bitch. <laughs> You're in a hospitality field. You have to smile. You can't. I can't come to my table and unload my baggage onto the customers. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, these kids today. Grin Akuma, two pounds super chat for the next uh, for the next beer. I like you. For the next beer. Well, I'm not drinking a beer. It's Coca Cola. <laughs> 
If that's what you're, if that's what you're referencing, that's yeah, it's a, it's a Mexican Coke, it's a Mexican, it's a Mexican Coca Cola. Apparently, I can't tell the difference between regular and the Mexican kind. I went to Chipotle today. Like their fucking Mexican food is whack. Oof, it sucks. Cause I've been to like the mom and pop Mexican places uh, before I went to Chipotle, and oh my god, they are so much fucking better. <laughs> Not going to Chipotle anymore. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Don't have a bad hair day or use the excuse it's the weather. Tells you how to do your makeup and how to blend it so you look like this instead of this. If anything gets on your uniform mask, you must. How is this a big slam dunk? Like, bitch. <laughs> Uh, Wolf Spain, $5 Super Chat. I was the only guy in the yearbook class and he decided to have girl talk. I call BS on any woman that say men are terrible. Women are just as bad. Yeah. Ugh. Change immediately. You are only allowed to carry pens, lipstick, notebook, and money on you. Anything you put in your hair must be your hair color. Yeah, like you see the fucking shorts they wear? Of course, you gotta only carry little shit. If you like, imagine putting a, a fucking wallet, carrying a fucking wallet in those little ass shorts. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna look good. Hooters gave me this today. Okay, okay. Yeah, and this motherfucker, like the acting he was doing, like, oh, oh, ooh, e, now blow me. <laughs> Please blow me. And why are you reacting to this in your car? I can't stand it when people do that shit when they react to videos in their car. I don't know why. It just bothers me. Go in your fucking house. Uh, the Joker's car. It looks like, because only, the only excuse you should have is like if you don't have a house. If you don't have a house, but you got a working phone, then you can do fucking TikToks in your car. <laughs> but if you got a fucking house and a car, choose, nigga. <laughs> choose the house. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? The, the Joker's corner. $10 super chat. Hey Jay, hope you're doing well. Since we're on the subject of feminist creepos, what's your what's your opinions on Andy Signor, the king of neckbeard flip-flopping feminists? Have you seen his bad takes? Um, well, has he flip-flopped again? Cuz like when he had that little uh fake that he had that false rape accusation, he was on his way to being, you know, based. And so like has he changed since then? Cuz I can't say I've seen any bad Well, then again, I haven't really been checking for him at all, so. So I can't, I can't necessarily say, because I haven't really been checking for him. Uh, Snuggle Struggle, $5 Super Chat. We reset the clock almost daily with men like that. They're disingenuous and manipulative. This is an act to get close to you. Women, watch out. Uh, uh, Dewin, Aether? Ugh, five, $2 Super Chat. I guess Chippendale does not, Chip, Chippendales does not exist. No, no of, yeah, no male strip clubs exist. Even though he works at one. <laughs> oh no, he says it's burlesque. A Jordan, uh, Jordan Joe star breaking news, porn objectifies women. <laughs> oh, uh... Uh, Nabinuts? I think that's what it says. He can't go to his house. His mother would see him crying over a video. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, uh, Grin Akuma, two, two pound super chat. That dude looks like, um, like a Pinocchio. Huh. <laughs> uh, oh God, this guy again. <laughs> Only 5% of sexual assault claims are false. Believe victims. <laughs> The fuck? What kind of fuck? <laughs> uh, what kind of fucking satanic uh, male feminist voodoo were you just casting right there? <laughs> oh, anyway. Here are five reasons why women are the superior gender and deserve everything in the world. Let's go. Number one. Thanks everybody for watching and see you next time. <laughs> Here are five reasons why women are the <laughs> <laughs> oh hang on a second though <laughs> oh pastel loca five dollar super chat i want to work at hooters and not be sexualized despite that i'm working at a place that literally does that to consenting adults 
Uh, Shelby MD, two dollar super chat. He's going to Hooters. Definitely, uh, the creep trying to flirt. <laughs> This guy, oh, this guy right here. <laughs> oh, you deserve a like. Oh, wait, am I signed in? Yeah, I'm, I'm signed in. Okay, there we go. You deserve a like. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, this guy again, homo lander. <laughs> So let's talk about male privilege in my comment section. Because in the comments of my video where I admitted I was fine when women said men are trash, I got so <laughs> of course you so are. many people saying male privilege isn't a thing. Now, frankly, I could link you to plenty of empirical research that proves that isn't true. And I'm not just talking about the wage gap. Who gets hired? Who gets promoted? What are they thought of by their peers? I could go on for a very uh well see one black man, what Thomas uh, Sowell Sowell I think it is. Uh, he did like, even back in the seventies, that shit wasn't true. The, the wage gap. He fucking debunks it as well. Now, if you, uh, now if you're the male feminist, I think you're going to fucking disregard what this, what this man says, regardless. Uh, even though like, I'm sure you're super woke, but if a black man who's experienced in his field and know what the fuck he's talking about, you'll completely dismiss it and probably not even acknowledge it. Because he still has a penis, regardless of him being a black man in America in the seventies. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the, yeah, Thomas Sowell uh, fucking uh, debunked that in the seventies, the fucking seventies, <laughs> a long time ago. Because the fucking like he he I think he was one of the few people who actually did the research and uh, did the uh, the math correctly. That in some like un unmarried women actually make more or unmarried or never married some some shit he said those fucking the whole video is on youtube somewhere but he said um either it was women who are never married never married that's what it was. women who are never married make more money than men anyway uh agent cobalt 499 super chat there was that one restaurant whose shtick was that they intentionally insulted the customers sounds like a dream job for these pouting liberals uh, Grin Akuma, five pound super chat. If you put the first three words, that means a child diddler. Uh, you'll get censored. Okay. Uh, Sideburns, seven ninety nine super chat. I always enjoy the occasional base dudes being savage as fuck on this app. It's like water in the desert. True. Uh, Tiger Eye 1283 Sowell is sadly unknown by the normies. Yeah, naturally. I know all this stuff about fucking r r r r the wage gap. Someone de debunked you like 40 years ago, so shut the fuck up. Very long time, but I have a feeling that the people saying this don't really care. So let me give you a very obvious example. They don't care because it's already been debunked and stop making that dumbass face. Because when I say <laughs> controversial shit. He looks like a very femmy young, um, what's his name? You know, the British guy who always has the spiky hair, who is in the clockwork orange, Malcolm McDowell. That's it. <laughs> Malcolm McDowell, but I'll still stick to homo lander because that's more, <laughs> that's more accurate. Um, 531 malls, 100 rubles. I could literally show you literally thousands of studies, which I'm not going to do because they could contradict the narrative I'm trying to build. Yeah, exactly. Grain of salt, 199 super chat. I think it's pronounced Thomas Sowell. Soul. Fuck. Soul. <laughs> Thomas Soul. Okay. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. Because I knew I was fucking it up. Uh, non. Viderex, $20 super chat. Favorite change from the Justice League to uh, the Snyder cut. Uh, I'm just glad Steppenwolf looks and sounds like a thousand times better. Edgy boy aesthetic notwithstanding. Better than the bland PS3 graphic look uh, motherfucker from Justice League. True, true. Like, yeah, he does look a little too spiky. <laughs> but yeah, he's still a lot better. Like, he's got more character too, which is what uh, I liked. They actually, uh, you actually understand why he's doing what he's doing. It's kind of like, um, you know, unlike uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where you don't know why the fuck, <laughs> you don't know why the fuck the villains are doing what they're doing. But like with uh, with um, 
Steppenwolf, you got some idea, like there's some emotional resonance in there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Mr. N, $5 Super Chat. I love how these plop nuggets <laughs> go on long diatribes about their misfortunes in society, but cannot put in an effort to show evidence. It's uncanny. I know, because they want to be, they just want to be oppressed. They want to be oppressed so bad. So bad. Wolf Spain, $5 Super Chat. Jay Longbone, he's losing his mind and I'm reaping all the benefits. Yeah, that's basically any channel like mine. It's like, he's losing his mind and I'm reaping all the benefits. <laughs> Great Assault, 499 Super Chat. He looks like a gay Paul Joseph Watson. Yeah, you know, he kind of does. <laughs> he kind of does. No one comes for me as a person. I don't think I have ever once got a comment saying, I'm an idiot, I'm ugly, I'm unfuckable. And the worst. Well, you did tonight. <laughs> You did tonight, Homo Lander. <laughs> no one's ever come for me as a person every time I talk about the wage gap. Well, they have today. So, you know. Congratulations. Uh, Big Mitchie, five dollars super chat. But don't you understand? Uh, Soul isn't really black. He's a, he's the owner of a certain cheese company. What? He's the owner of a certain cheese company. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Y'all got to explain it to me. Insult I've gotten was simp, which pff, now contrasts. I was, the most I've gotten was simp. Like, yeah, you shouldn't be proud of that. And um, there's a reason they're calling you that. That with some of my women colleagues on this app who have said far less controversial things than I have. You're not only going to see a All the women I hang out with are angels. Angels of mine. <laughs> Whenever they queef, it's so sweet. <laughs> I think about them when I beat my meat. But they'll never give me the time of day. <laughs> anyway, keep playing. A lot more negative comments, but you're going to see comments directed at them personally. That's the uh huh. And if it's not outright insults, it's unnecessarily charged language over vicious, uh, overly vigorous attitude towards arguing. I simply don't get that in my comments. Oh, okay. Because like they rather just make videos on how cringy male feminists are. Like like the last one we just saw, hilarious. They don't need to insult you because they have an outlet already. And also, like, yeah, TikTok isn't the world. <laughs> the difference. When I speak, people attack what I say, and much more rarely. And women and... People attack what I say. <laughs> Frankenfurter, $2 super chat. He just simps because they peg him. <laughs> and for one thing, so you admit that you get... Um, that you get, um... That you get, um, damn it balanced argumentation for men about your bullshit. Thanks for admitting that. <laughs> like he wants to brag about how, oh, oh, I never, never get called out for like, you know, like all your fucking female groveling right now. I never like the women who say the same shit, they get shit on, but I'm never shit on. They come at me with actual factual based arguments and they don't insult me. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing the same. <laughs> Frank and Furter, two dollar super chat. He just simps oh I already read that one. Thank you. Uh Travis Gibbons, five dollar super chat. Why does this wavy haired queef have on Onision's brows and his hide hideous personality? I think we all know why. <laughs> Mr. N, five dollar super chat. China must be having a field day with this man. Uh Reaper Sama, five dollar super chat. J new album when? Shit, <laughs> never. <laughs> I actually had like an idea to like make a parody song of that of the Goldfinger theme, but instead sing it uh, like uh, uh about um like uh, um woke white women like <laughs> white women. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh dear God, will you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, I was planning on it, but I got to, you know, I'm not good with lyrics. Anyway, 
Wolfsbane, five dollar super chat. All my female friends are angels. The lie detector, <laughs> the lie detector, <laughs> the lie detector test shows that was a lie. <laughs> people speak people attack them also as if as with everything this problem is worse for pocs and trans folk oh <laughs> gotta put that little caveat in there because that's what really gets the the followers and the likes and much more vociferously maybe that explains also you got sweat stains on your arms you're not that fucking <laughs> <laughs> You're not that fucking elegant. <laughs> Why the strongest people I know tend to be women because they've had to fight this bullshit. Oh God, fuck off, Homo Lander. Oh, that's a that's a face. <laughs> Look at this. He is so embarrassing. He comes off like a fucking Disney villain. <laughs> this is your daily reminder to not trust any man who has ever called a woman a female. Because women aren't females. <laughs> oh, so I guess we shouldn't, um, we should not trust any black man from the hood then. Because in the hood, people, black dudes, black dudes, or anyone from the hood says that all the time. It was in movies. It was everywhere. It's in rap music. Don't tr trust any man who calls women females. Like, <laughs> Mr. N5 Dollar Super Chat, Abby Lee Miller, Miller failures. Mr. Nobody, this man is cringe. Like, calling women females, that's actually, like, more of, like, a hood thing. So he's really saying black and brown people shouldn't, or black and brown men should not be trusted. <laughs> not surprising coming from him. <laughs> oh, God. Clive Mercer, I want to punch him so bad. He's got that punchable face. Like, get the fuck. Back off, homo lander. <laughs> that, that's all. That's, that's the skit. That's it. So, oh, you're not going to give us a reason. Okay. Not going to give a reason. All right. Goat, goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Chat. This guy reminds me of an ugly Hans from Frozen. Oh, okay. Hans. Uh, No. Which one was that? Was it the fucking, the guy who ended up being the villain? Or was it that big nose motherfucker? The one, the, <laughs> was it, um... See, I don't, I don't remember shit from those movies. They were so lame. Anyway, uh, 531 moths, uh, 40 rubles. Every biology teacher shoot. <laughs> oh, right. Cause they, oh yeah. They refer to women as females. They kind of have to. Don't trust any man. See, the more words you restrict to call people, they're just going to go towards the, more, the most derogatory shit. Oh, don't call me a female. All right, cunt. <laughs> Bitch. Ho. Are those better? <laughs> or would you rather just be called a female? Because they people usually don't mean female in a derogatory sense. So what the fuck are you even whining about? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, so if ever, if anyone ever comes with, like, if some chick ever comes at you with that shit, it says, I don't like being called a female. Just say, oh, oh all right, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. Anyway, uh, Chelsea Druin, Druin, I think. I, like I said, I'm still butchering that. $2 super chat. What do I go by now? Does this mean I get money? <laughs> oh, sentient DLDO gash. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one I heard. I think that's uh, from, isn't that like UK slang? I think it is. Jo uh, Jordan Joestar, $5 Super Chat. Uh, hedge your bets. Would he call you a strong, empowered woman or a pick me? he definitely call me a pick me. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. And he'd think he was still the most feminist man on the face of the fucking planet. He'd probably call me a mammy pick me. <laughs> <laughs> with his little fucking funky ass friends the council of bra so we so we can never ever call a woman holander <laughs> holander like if you ever come cr come across a, a feminist with like a short with short blonde hair like this guy or like homelander just, yeah call her Ho holander <laughs> and with 
a uh, with a ve- like with a kill all men mentality. Yeah, call her Holander. Oh, Mister Nobody, the fuck is a pick me? It's basically anyone who any woman who's not a feminist and doesn't disc- and doesn't subscribe to that to that um um that pseudo female suprem- supremacist bullshit. Like if you if you do not spend your days saying men are trash and blaming all your problems for blaming all your problems on men, then yes, you are officially a pick me, <laughs> according to these motherfuckers. Oh God, there's so many from him. There's so fucking many. He's a roach. <laughs> Breakthrough. I've had a breakthrough. There's an equation for it. There's an equation for it. The numbers all check out. There is an equation for how long it takes in every woman's life for her to eventually just want to become a cat. Some it's probably soon after they're born. They, they might just literally be actual cats. For some it comes in their teenage years. Weebs. For others it's a little bit longer still. You usually have to find those ones out by just scratching them. Until they realize that they like it. And some you don't find out till you're a full-grown adult when all you want to do is just sleep and cuddle and be cute. You are lame as fuck. And why did you tag this male feminist? Is there like a feminist angle to this I'm not seeing? The fuck is this embarrassing shit? (laughs) Every woman wants to be a cat. Women are queens. And oh, you know that cats are really fucking like popular on the internet, guys. (laughs) Uh, no, as a woman, I would not want to be a cat. Like, the fucking chance at getting heartworms or, like, having your whiskers cut off, <laughs> being chased by dogs. Like, no. <laughs> oh, let's keep listening. I know there's some kind of, like, douchey-ass feminist angle to this. Bring it. Cute variables for this are out there, I tell you, and before you laugh at me. Am I wrong? Breakthrough. Okay, yeah, that was just trash, generally. No feminist angle. I was hoping there would be that would justify him tagging it as male feminist. (laughs) Jesus. Look. Like, sir, this is a Popeyes. (laughs) The fuck are you talking about? Like, imagine him not even, like, going up to a Popeyes drive-thru. Not even in a car. He just rolls up walking like that. Like, breakthrough Popeyes. (laughs) Popeye's person. Women want to be cats. And then they call the fucking cops. <laughs> it's the one he puts, the cop puts a knee in his back. <laughs> oh, Mr. N5 Alice Super Chat. Why was he trying to sound like a mixed, uh, a mixed, uh, with a nostalgia critic? I don't need this. I'll be gone for a while. <laughs> I understand. I completely understand. Um, Reaper Sama, $5 Alice Super Chat. This man looks like he is one nice guy moment from becoming a legit super villain. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Joey Avant, M- MSA, more like a Chick-fil-A or Starbucks. Yeah, true, true, true. Frolic09, did you say Popeyes? No, I, I said Popeyes. <laughs> please don't bring up that terrible dating sim, please. Oh, Vash Stampede, you're like 5K away from 100K. Congrats. Thank you. Hope I get there soon, because I'm sick and tired of like, just watching my subscriber count. I'm not really watching it, but it's like every now and then it's like, Huh. <laughs> because every, I have to watch it anyway, like, because every time I stream, like, my fucking sub count goes down. It's like a glitch that happens every fucking time. I, I always earn the subs back within, like, a day or two. But it's like, why the fuck does that keep happening? I mean, I don't get it. Uh, Chelsea Droin, $2 super chat, got my name right, and we can ship him off to Korea. <laughs> Like, sir, Frankenfurter's like, sir, this is a Popeyes. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do another, like, let's do a couple more from this, this dick. You know, I'm increasingly realizing as I get older that there is definitely such a thing as the male brain. Because, like, I have... No shit. As I get older, like, I realize that there's something called male brain. Yeah, doctors kind of beat you to it. They kind of beat you to it, bruh. Like, oh my god! Marcus Territory is so, like, brilliant. <laughs> He's so brills. <laughs> I've tried to eliminate. Oh, hey, my thumbnail. My thumbnail image. 
keep that competitive mindset of how dare that bitch have more followers than I do. How dare they get a bigger laugh when they walk in a room than I do. And I've done pretty well. My brain now thinks that, hey, maybe they're in a different niche. Or, hey, maybe they have more time than you. Or, hey, maybe that asshole who walked in has cheese on his face and everyone's actually laughing at him. Tee hee. But no matter how hard I try, whenever I see an attractive person, my brain instantly goes, tits, dick, money, boom, fuck, now, ha! Like, the only thing I can do is shorten the period between when that voice starts talking and when my sane, rational brain starts talking. And says, yes, indeed, tits, money, fuck, wow, kaboom, hey, but also maybe a mortgage and coffee first. Like, maybe we could spend 13, 14 days together before we decide to get a mortgage. 13 days. You know, I'm increasingly real. Yeah, I think that's more your problem, bro. <laughs> Uh, some dudes are incapable of controlling their dicks, but like it has nothing to do with them being men. It's more about them as a person. Oh, look at like I'm looking at the look. Let me look at these comments. Like one of these comments, right quick. Natali, <laughs> one of his comments from Natali. <laughs> it's not just male brain; it's also extreme social conditioning to either conquer or be conquered by the most standout person that walks in the room. Shut the fuck up. Marcus Territory says, definitely a mix of both. Yeah, that's you, honey. That's you. <laughs> and I'm not surprised that's you because you're a male feminist. <laughs> y'all all like that. M well, no, I'm not saying all. Most of y'all are like that. Oh, I want to have the need to conquer women or a conquer person I want to fuck. That is you. You're bisexual anyway. I don't even know why the fuck... You met like, cause usually you think that would be like a heterosexual male thing, but you are bisexual. And like, he made it very clear in what he said that he is attracted to both genders. Like he said, um, he said dick and tits. So yeah, he was referencing both genders. So like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? That's you, bro. That's not men. That's you. Like, uh, how, imagine admitting your uh your illness as a male feminist and thinking that's a man thing you are projecting hard my bro you you want to you i know you don't want to feel alone but fuck uh on haggis $13 super chat 13.99 super chat sorry okay google how to politely ask the government to help this man out and forcibly lock him up maybe give him a flu shot <laughs> hilarious Frankenfurter, is it sexist to be conquered by a man? <laughs> uh, whale fin, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know, oh my god, you wouldn't know it looking at me, but a typical male does have a brain. <laughs> oh, Pink Chai, my male friend is a feminist and he was genuinely shocked I wasn't one since I'm a woman. I hate that the internet is corrupting people. Help. <laughs> True. Oh, uh, Toby Wobby or Toby Wobby. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy is the ultimate bi stereotype. It makes me ashamed to be bi. <laughs> oh. Okay. What the fuck else we got? Ugh. I'm gonna go for the for beard guy again. For beard guy. It's him or me. You have to decide. Okay. Okay, like this is a duos or duels, like that's what they call them on TikTok, where you respond to a corresponding TikTok. And this one, the one on the right, the one that Beardo McFeminist is is uh responding to. Uh, it's like unfunny TikTok girls choosing a comment, and it's it's a choice between I like like I like cutting it and cutting off uh, mid statement or whatever, and uh, like the two big eyes and the lips <laughs> thing, and it's like a harmless fucking joke, harmless goddamn joke, and Mc McBeardy <laughs> Kool Aid McBeardy just can't fucking handle it. But thank God the top comment on here is like. From Beazle Dom says, this is not shaming women. It's a joke, a poor one, but a joke nonetheless. Yeah, really. Calm the fuck down. But like I said, like they just, oh, so either starved for pussy or just female companionship generally. Or just they, or they just hate themselves or all three. It doesn't matter. And it says, um, this is his response. Imagine shaming girls for literally nothing. Just admit you don't like women. What? <laughs> It's a fucking joke, my boy. 
It's a, ugh. it's a joke, my dude. It's a joke. Oh, gee. And then, like, basically, and then there's this audio that plays in dude's uh, TikTok. You have to decide. <laughs> Juice. It is pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Decent joke. Scott, uh, Scottsky, uh, oh, to just admit you hate women. Uh, Giddy328, 299 Super Chat. Uh, don't you dare say female. His male brain. <laughs> yeah, um, who knows what's running through these motherfuckers' heads. Decide now! Do it! Him or me! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's funny. It's just like a fucking, it's a fucking joke. Like this, like the joke that women don't know how to choose, um, like what they want to eat. Like they're always like, <laughs> like they're always stuck on something. Like it's just a fucking simple ob like observation of behaviors between the genders. It's not fucking. There's nothing. There's nothing. Um, what do you call? It? There's nothing insidious about it. Like calm the fuck down. <laughs> But like I said, he's perfectly calm. He just wants some pussy. That's all it was. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, let's try this one. Oh, because Beard Guy is asking him a question. Ew. 2016 study on it. And why is your shirt off? Like, he, dude, how, how much to a pet? <laughs> I'm calling it now. Because this, like, this is another male feminist motherfucker that I think was in one of my other, uh, my TikTok feminist um, streams. And from what I understand, like, like he's also a male feminist, so like, yeah. So, but like my, I would assume that he's shirtless asking this dude a question because he wants him to fuck him. That's just, <laughs> that's my, that's my, um, that's how my observation of the situation. Because why are you shirtless, nigga? Put a fucking shirt on. Jalen Fulp, 299 Super Chat. Why do you put yourself through this cringe? Because it's funny. Like, in, in the end, like, I know I'm going to get a tight jaw from this, but, like, it is funny. Uh, 531 moths, 100 rubles. <laughs> Damn, I fucked that up. Holy crap. His bloody couch that's the same color as his beard made me think he had a giant clown sideburns. Now that would have been appropriate. <laughs> Uh, Isaac Avila is Hom Homolander, the only male feminist that posts daily. Probably, he seems in love with him with himself. It wouldn't uh, surprise me. Absolute zero. Uh, Kiyok Kiyokukami Kiyokukami. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, Ten dollars super chat. Yo, Jay Long, I'm working and enjoying your second TikTok stream. Also, ten bucks if you can say my name correctly. Oh God, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just fucked it up. <laughs> Uh, meatball, X meatball, 420X, uh, Hail J Longbone. Thank you. Thank you. Super Nazi ghost. Who is this? This guy is called Mr. VDK on TikTok. He is also a male feminist and he's going to be asking Marcus territory, homo, a you know, AKA homo lander, a question. <laughs> An injectable male birth control was done with the study. Was oh, no, wait, no, wait, this isn't a question. Uh, that's right. He made a TikTok uh, talking about male birth control, and Homolander is going to correct him. Oh. Stopped. Why? All right, so this isn't quite true, but it contains a truth, so let's talk about it. First of all, absolutely no hate to Mr. VDK here. I love your content, and I will take an injectable form of male birth control as soon as it's available and safe. But Snopes found this important enough. Oh, well, you're such a, you're such a chad. <laughs> I will take a, I will take male birth control as soon as it's safe. <laughs> Why do you want point? Imagine, like, I remember. Wait, 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 wait. In fact, hang on. Didn't he just. He was just talking shit about how it so, sucks so much that a woman had to thank me for putting a condom on. And now he's bragging that I will be the first man to take the male birth control shot when it is available and safe. Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> This is kind of uh, contradictory, these two things. You don't want to be congratulated for wearing a condom because it could be standard, but you do want to be con con ah. <laughs> but you do want to be congratulated for taking the first a male birth control when it's available and safe. Like I said, these motherfuckers ain't shit. <laughs> Enough to debunk, so let's go through it. Now it is true that the men in this study noted symptoms that were similar to the female birth control pill. And 
Wow, you're citing Snopes. You are such a fucking auteur. You're a scholar. <laughs> fucking scholar. Agent Cobalt199 Super Chat? Homolander fan art win. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, G Power 100. It's called a vasectomy. <laughs> Red Rose Spark, we need birth control for both genders because equality. Oh, Joe Wy Wisner? The whole world will not mind at all if he takes birth control. <laughs> when it was stopped. However, not only is the research continuing, it's just in the next phase of trials, but if the original pill was subject to these standards, it probably would never pass. That's because the original birth control pill was passed in 1960, before there were any requirements that drug makers show that their drugs worked. But after the thalidomide tragedy in Germany, look it up if you want to depress yourself, the U.S. passed stronger efficacy and health requirements for all new drugs that we still follow today. So the reason the trial was stopped wasn't quite as simple as just sexism. It's because we now have much stronger regulations. Yeah, not just sexism. Uh, not just sexism. No, yeah, yeah it was partially sexism. Not because, it's not because um, we wanted it to be safe and, you know, we wanted to make sure we weren't fucking killing people. It just be like, partially because we don't want men to die, even though we send them off to wars, <laughs> to die in wars that we should never, should never been in. We treat them as disposable and give them, and they're mo mostly um, expected to take jobs where that are fr uh, frequently fucking dangerous. <laughs> that uh, we say kill all men on a daily fucking basis, but uh, yeah, you know, we, you know, it's, we, we really care about men, the lives of men. <laughs> Great Assault, 499 Super Chat. Isn't his appearance already a form of birth control? <laughs> oh God, I would say yes though. <laughs> surrounding the approval of new drugs and what level of side effects are acceptable. Which, one, when injectable male birth control is available, we have no excuse not to take it, and- <laughs> Another brag! Yeah. Oh, you are, you are the alpha male, my bro. The alpha male. And remember, he was so ashamed that he was thanked for putting on a con- <laughs> he, he was ashamed as a male. <laughs> Okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Ugh. Seen that one? Oh God, Homo Lander. <laughs> I haven't been with another woman since I've been with you. Really? I've been with hundreds of men. You are. Wait, what? What's your point here? What's your point here? I haven't been with another woman since I've been with. Insecure men. Um. Who don't like fucking around and stay, who, who like basically stay monogamous mostly? Like what the fuck were you gonna think? What the fuck would he would? Oh my god, I don't understand his gripe here. I don't get it. Mike Testa, one ninety nine super chat. I vote the name. I vote the name uh, sex defender for this dude. <laughs> With you. He's a regist. He's a regist registered sex defender. <laughs> Women comfortable with their high numbers. I've been with hundreds of men. You are! Okay. What's your point? What's your point there? A lot of women don't trust men who have high counts. Like, are they are they going to be shamed for the? Are they insecure? Are they going to be shamed for, the, for that shit too? No, of course not. Of course not. They're queens. Women are queens no matter what. But if you're a man... You got too much pussy. You're a piece of shit. You're probably not gonna be trustworthy in a relationship. But if you you're a, I wouldn't say celibate, but if you're like modest and you don't go around fucking everybody, and you expect the same thing from your spouse, <laughs> suddenly you're an insecure. What? Huh? How does that work? How does that work? I don't get it. Oh. People often have. Kool Aid McBe uh, excuse me, Kool, Kool Aid McBeardsy. For those of you who hate male feminists, Ask me, what right do women not have that men do? They point to the law mm. and they say, "Look, women are equal under the law," which is great. I'm so glad the law supports women. The problem. Okay, um, so video over. <laughs> video over. Uh, Pin up doll, uh, 1996, five dollar super chat. Why does he look like Flynn Rider's gay cousin? 
I don't know. <laughs> Flynn Rider. I want to make sure I know who that is. Flynn Rider. Ah, I know who it is. Okay, I know who it is. Never mind. The problem is culture does not. We're still trying to restrict what women do with their bodies. I okay. I thought we said the laws were fine for women, and then like they're equal under the law. But now you say, well, we're trying to change the laws, but like that contradicts what the fuck you just said. You niggas, <laughs> you little nigglins. <laughs> we're still trying to change the laws while we're ruling our body. And you see, like we you know, like we barely made any headway on that, like on on um. On restricting what women do with their body, like they have barely made any headway on that shit. Abortions. The media still sets an unrealistic expectation of what a woman should look like, and women suffer mm. eating disorders. And some turn to self. Not anymore. Like a woman now, they can be thick as, as thick as they want to want to be, which is not unrealistic. Unless you're one of those motherfuckers who take it too far and get ass implants and then your ass doesn't match your thighs because you're too fucking lazy and mentally ill to go to the goddamn gym. Harm. Because they can't attain what the media says they should be. Also, we still shame women for having sex. In the we still shame women for having sex. We shame a lot, like, a lot of people for having sex. Men are also shamed for having sex. Uh, I know you would you wouldn't know what that feels like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we do shame men for the same fucking things. Year twenty twenty. So why do I talk about feminism on TikTok? Because TikTok. Because you want to fuck fifteen year old girls. Next is a cultural <laughs> tool, and I'm tired of women being treated this way. I want to change culture, not law. Cult Col culture, culture. Culture, culture. <laughs> I want to change my beard to another, <laughs> another color. <laughs> People often ask me, "What right do women not?" Have? Okay, I want to do more beardly, beardly guy uh, videos. I'm already getting sick of Homo Lanner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first, um, the TikTok he's responding to is like this guy saying, like his TikTok says, girls, girls be like, yeah, I'm a gamer. And then he shows what games that girls usually play when they say I'm a gamer, like Animal Crossing, fucking Sims, Fortnite, which I thought gamers, even like male gamers play Fortnite. So actually that one doesn't make sense. But, uh, yeah. And then of course he took, oh, <laughs> And the male feminist was like, I took this personally. <laughs> Look at his fucking face right here. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's get it. 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 <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> I need that. But then post misogynist things like this. Stop gatekeeping gaming. No one's gatekeeping it. They're just making fun. Like they, it sounds to me like they want them to play more, uh, more shit. They, they, they do, like this kid wants women to expand their horizons when it comes to gaming and stop playing the same old dumb shit. That's what it sounds like to me. And, but either way, it's a fucking joke. It's a harmless goddamn joke. Like fucking relax. Oh, okay. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, male feminist part four. Let me, let me guess. She shows another fucking slideshow of attractive male actors <laughs> as male feminists. Some of them aren't even, aren't even fucking attractive. <laughs> I mean, Alan Rickman is fine. Like I wasn't really shading him. I was shading the one before that, the one from uh, Criminal Minds. This nigga. <laughs> And Anna in the comment section is like, notice how they're all fucking hot. And it's a, and then <laughs> this Valerie chick replies, human decency is always hot. Gr ladies, you're going to be fucking mothers by the time you're 16 and then left. <laughs> I swear to God, y'all are so fucking easy. It's hilarious. Like they're fucking male feminists because they're in a field where they all have to have that same opinion. That's basically it. They're actors. 
um, emphasis on the word act. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Sebastian Stan. Ugh. Like, oh, Noel Miller. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying Noel Miller's not a male feminist or not a feminist or whatever. I'm saying like, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you met this motherfucker in private, like he would not be a male feminist. <laughs> At least not the one they're thinking of. Uh, uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Johnny Depp's a male feminist. Oh! Is he though? Is he though anymore? I don't think he is anymore. <laughs> not after, not after uh, the last eight years. <laughs> Getting his ass whooped. <laughs> but like, it's not funny that he got his ass whooped. But like, uh, this... The, this whole, like, him being a male fem like, the idea of him being a male feminist, especially after, after that shit? Mm-mm. <laughs> abort! Abort! <laughs> End this mission now! <laughs> see, the, like, what fucking irks me is I can't see when this was posted. So I can get a better view of when, <laughs> of the situation. But I, we know it wasn't posted in 2013, or 2015, because I don't think TikTok was around back then. But, um, yeah, no, girl, no. <laughs> this is, oh, no. Hell no. <laughs> uh, decent dango, equal rights, equal fights. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping he would have known that. <laughs> oh, sheepy, sheeply waltz. We were making fun of her, not Johnny. Yeah. Like, no, girl, no. <laughs> Albatross, $2 super chat. Uh, fe womanist despite dis w womanist despised JD because he stood up to uh, Amber Heard. Yeah. Oh yeah, they hate him now. Pastel Loca, five dollars super chat. Ah yes, my favorite male feminist Johnny Depp. <sighs> Uwu says getting abused by women equals male feminist. Yeah, basically. I bet you that's the only reason she added him to. <laughs> Oh, Pink Chai, she seems like the type to abort her kid if it's a boy. Help me, Lord. Like, oh, this is, this is a cursed image. <laughs> All this uh, male feminist part four, and it's just her pointing to Johnny Depp. This is so cursed. All right, let's, let's continue. Who else I got in here? Like, stop putting... Oh. <laughs> Don't ruin Hugh Jackman for me, please. Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, no. Not. If not John. Not Johnny Depp. <laughs> Leave him out of this. Don't put that bad. Those bad vibes on him. Oh, we're on part three. Oh, shit. Hang on a sec. Okay, part four. Like part three. Let me pause. Now. Ashton Kutcher is more of a human rights activist than anything because he, like, he fights against fucking sex trafficking and, like, just trafficking in, ge trafficking in general. So to say he's a male feminist is kind of uh, dishonest or disingenuous because he's actually doing the work. Like, he's one of those motherfuckers who doesn't have to say anything because he does the work. He does the fucking, the motherfucking work as a Hollywood actor. He's out there doing big things. He's not just saying shit in magazines and then not doing anything and then treat women like shit behind the scenes. He's doing the damn thing. But I wouldn't call him a male fucking feminist. He's more of a human rights activist than anything. So yeah, keep him out of your mouth, girl. <laughs> oh, like just the same old motherfucker. Oh, that nigga. <laughs> the one from uh, um, Becoming Human, uh, Detroit Becoming Human, like that soft, ugh. Soft like ice cream, awful. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy who gave chlamydia to the to the entirety of NYU. Yeah, that guy. He's a fucking feminist. I know it's a rumor, but I, I like going with it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, unless all the the children he bombed uh, in uh, drone strikes were all boys, then yeah, he might be a male feminist. <laughs> No! Stop listing people I like. Stop. 
531 moths, 100 lubles. Men can be objectified and never get shamed for their appearance. Proceeds to ogle solely conventionally attractive celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Oh, shit. This fucking chat. Chat is it's behind because I'm like a dumbass. I didn't. I didn't scroll down. Okay. Bogged in the lurker. Five dollars super chat. I just realized don't call women females identifies as feminists. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a bit weird. I swear I burped entirely too much. Oh, Ben Barnes. His eyes scare me. It's like I can't like they're just black. I can't see anything. <laughs> and I bet you half these motherfuckers she lists. We don't know if they're male feminists. Like she just like I think she just picks guys that she's attracted to and just assumes they're male feminists because she's wet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's probably that situation. Oh, the guy from Riverdale. Uh the guy from the boy band. I don't know who the fuck that is. That nigga. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, he's definitely a male feminist. Oh. This nigga. This ginger minge. <laughs> Arthur Day, I swear if Joe Biden is next, I'm gonna raffle. <laughs> oh, oh, ew. Uh, yeah, of course he is. Like I said, like using actors as an example, it's not good. It's, it's a bad example because they're actors. They're just saying this shit because that's what they need to do to stay relevant. Like that's their thing. And then you're telling me that I'm responsible for women not feeling safe out in the streets. Yeah, that's fair enough. Why is this hand pain? I'm a cis man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're a woman and you're telling me that I'm responsible for women not feeling safe out in the streets. Yeah, that's fair enough. Why is this hand pain? I'm a cis man. I benefit from the patriarchy that oppresses women and I will do my part. Can, can we turn this down? Oh, God. Ugh, <laughs> ugh. Uh. I, I'm the responsible for women not feeling safe because of the patriarchy. No, because you probably actually made a woman not made a woman not feel safe. You personally. Like I said, these motherfuckers are all projecting for their own creepy fucking behavior. That's the only way I can see it. Like, come on, bro. You were following some hoe in the fucking street. Felt like shit about it. Probably reconsidered at the last second. Or she fucking told you, the girl you were following, to fuck off. And now, like, yeah, you almost got you almost got caught out there by the cops, but then you weren't. You'd made it seem like it was a misunderstanding. And then you came home and you were like, that was a close call, but oh my god, I'm so sick because I keep following women everywhere and making them feel weird. I gotta need to fix this problem. No, wait, no, no, no. Don't fix it. <laughs> Just say you're a male feminist and atone for your sins by saying, yeah, I, I make women feel, uh, no, sorry, we make women feel unsafe when it's really just me. I'm telling you, being a male feminist is just, it's like when a pedophile becomes a Catholic priest. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're trying to atone for all the horrible shit you have done. And you, th you think that's what's gonna do it. It's like, I'm trying, I'm a sinner trying to become holy. And trying to be to, and trying to be accepted into heaven, and in the same vein, it's like male feminists used to be trash men, and now they're atoning for it by genuflecting to women. When it's not, yeah, it's not. It's only going to make you build more resentment towards women. Like that's the difference between that's what's scary because a pedophile priest won't. They'll, like, they have more resentment for, against themselves than God. But a male feminist will always have resentment against a woman and not themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what's scary about it. Like, <laughs> be more afraid of a fucking male feminist than a, pre than a Catholic priest. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Uh, Evil Hero Diamond Cat, two dollars super chat. Does Biden make your undies tingle? Oh Jesus! Get the fuck, <laughs> log off, log off, log off. Touch grass, <laughs> whatever you need to do. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Red Rose Spark, that's scarily accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, that's like, like yeah, like a male feminist is like a pedophile priest. Like you're just trying to atone for shit. Except like pedophile priests at least have a. I mean, I say if male feminists don't have a sense of self-loathing. They do, but I think their resentment towards women. Ugh. Oh my god, that fucking soda killed me. But I think their resentment towards women is much stronger than the resentment towards themselves. Because like, yeah, usually religion is all about like the shame, the shame, shame, and more internalizing hatred. But like male, fem like feminism doesn't, no. It's about externalizing hatred. You're not supposed to hate yourself when you're a feminist. You hate men. Everybody else is the fucking problem except you. So that way, so they still externalize their hate, but like they try to hold it back because they don't want to be, they, they want to be resolved. They want to be um, absolved of their sin. So cold fusion waffles, five dollars super chat. Does it still count if he's kept in a pet carrier when not being used for a photo op? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, not important. They have self-loathing, but lack self-awareness. Yeah, that's what it, yeah. That's what I was getting at. It's bizarre. <laughs> not really bizarre. Not really. Uh, Dewin Aether? Uh, five dollars super chat. Just like a priest, a lot of criminals are going, uh, transient. <laughs> mm. Oh, Pink Chai, can someone please super chat what I sent so she sees that I'm begging? Oh, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Oh, the message, the Joe Biden message was deleted. <laughs> did I, I feel like I, did I miss something? Yeah, okay. Nicole Batista, they have self-loathing and feel like they can finally be one of the good feminists or one of the good men. Uh, Zach E, ever since having to endure Riley Dennis, J. Long one has no patience for these folk. <laughs> They're just reiterating like the same fucking points from five, from, not five years ago, from six years ago. The same goddamn lame ass points. <clears throat> the wage gap. What about the wage gap? What about women are considered sluts and men aren't? It's the same dumb shit. <laughs> Mike Testa, I sent him to horny jail. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Pink Chai, I'm begging you to make a video on the subreddit. Uh, are gender critical? It's turf central. You'll hate it, please. Oh God, I'm trying to stay away from fucking Reddit. I'm trying to stay the fuck away from that shit. <laughs> Uh, bread squish with all this SJW nonsense. Uh, will this SJW nonsense ever end? Back in 2015, I thought we hit the peak. I don't even think we're near it. Yeah, it's it's just getting worse. I hate it. <laughs> Frank and further, uh, Pink Chai said, "Look at gender. Uh, are gender critical? I don't know. Like I don't know about fucking Reddit. <laughs> Jay, please, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, Mike Testa, no creepy Biden talk. Yeah, please." Yeah, Tiger Eye uh, 1283 says Reddit is cancer. I agree. <laughs> Bogdan Lurker. I wonder how Riley's doing. Yeah, I've, ch I've checked up on <clears throat> I've checked up on Riley in the past, like in the recent, uh, you know, recently kind ish kind of like he, I, I think Riley just sticks to doing, um, you know, um, video essays now, you know, the type of shit <laughs> that uh, that uh, EFAP criticizes that type of shit. And I think it's mostly on uh, the new uh, She-Ra and fucking the new She-Ra shit and um, what is it? God damn it. What was the other show? Uh, that other last Airbender show. The one with uh, Zora. Legend of Zora. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, Riley does videos on that. <laughs> He does, yeah, she uh, yeah, Riley does media videos now, like on entertainment and shit. Like like yeah, like kind of what like EFAP or, or like Mahler does and what I do, something like that. 
But I saw like I saw Riley's video on um on Baby Yoda. Ugh. <laughs> it's so generic. It's like I didn't learn shit from that. And the video wasn't really edited that well. Ugh. Yeah, I know I said Legend of Korra, chat. <laughs> Uh, Major Chris, uh, She-Ra, or as I call it, Shit-Ra. <laughs> Gothic BB, J Longbone, please react to SU anti-racist, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I kind of had that on the, like, uh, on the back burner. I recorded some shit for it. I just didn't finish editing it. Like, like I said, I, I want to really get into Falcon and the Winter Soldier review, so I don't know. That might take a while. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this shit. Ugh. Oh no, let's mute that. Copyrighted. Women shouldn't be in politics because they're not trustworthy. Nobody fucking says that. <laughs> Literally no one says that. If that's true, then tell me. Oh God. Why do I trust women more than I trust men? Oh, like anyone's gonna trust your fucking opinion on this shit? <laughs> Thank you, teenage uh, underscore disaster spelled with a one. <laughs> And of course there's women like in the comment section. Anyways, Stan. Oh no, no, wait, no. That's this person. Oh my God. This part, like this guy who made the TikTok says in the comment section that he stands um, like two, like the biggest male feminists on TikTok. Oh God, these boys are being ruined. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hell. Oh, McBeardsley. Let's do another one. <laughs> Okay, the the TikTok on the right says, my friend <clears throat> got put in handcuffs for wearing a, a thong bikini at the beach. Okay, but when was it? I'm sure there's certain factors that need to be addressed. If this was during COVID, I don't fucking think that it was because of a thong. <laughs> to have a bikini on the beach. I literally wear this to the beach every day. I wanted to show you. We're going to show okay. you. Absolutely. It shall be unlawful for any person appearing in the nude on any public beach, beach, beach access to the public waters or any public property in the view of the public. I'm not so nude. So nobody's nude. There's nobody I'm nude right nude. now. I'm not nude. Okay, you're, you're in a song. No, no, no. Why does this come off like porn? Why do I feel like someone... <laughs> Why do I feel like someone um, took porn off Pornhub and then made it into like a social issue. I don't know. This seems funny. This seems a little weird. Like some, like people are acting. This is ridiculous. Let the girl be. She's just trying to enjoy the beach in his fucking face. This nigga stays making the cringy faces. Oh, wow. Let me look at the chat right quick. Yeah, Frankenfurt is like, it looks like porn. Yeah, it looks like fucking porn. This look, yeah, it looks so staged, like porn. I wouldn't fucking, I would not be surprised if he, if he was duped. The thong is not nude. Right. Why is it illegal to, to wear, to have a bikini on the beach? I literally wear this to the beach every day. I wanted to show you, we're gonna show okay. you. Why does society hypersexualize the feminine, the, the feminized form, what? The female, what? I, I think he misspelled something. And then punish win women for Absolutely. using that. Shall be unlawful for any person appearing in the nude on any public beach, beach, beach access to the public waters or any public property in the view of the public. I'm not so nude. So nobody's nude. There's nobody I'm nude right nude. now. I'm not nude. You're in a thong. No, the thong, no, is, not thong is not nude. Right. Why is it illegal? Do so people usually wear thongs to the beach? They usually wear bikinis, if I'm not mistaken. That's not a fucking bikini. Cold Fusion Waffles, $5 Super Chat. Add a 30% uh, surcharge to neon pink uh, pink hair dye. Put those nickels and dimes into progressive programs. Watch feminist malfunction or support pink tax. Yeah, this seems fucking... This seems fucking staged like a motherfucker. I'm sorry. Uh, Isaac Avila, does he not know about Saudi Arabia? I don't think he does. Brown people can't be uh brown people can't be discriminatory against women. Don't you know that? 
Red Rose Spark, he's cringing so hard the green screen took over. The guy is fading in and out of existence. Don't trust men that call women females. <laughs> Legal to, to wear to have a bikini on. I feel like this is porn, and someone put this up as a joke. I don't know. That just seems so fucking scripted. Oh. All right, my dudes, we're gonna have a little bit of a consent conversation. The absence of a no is not a yes. You need. Well, <laughs> if you're already in the process of sex, and it's really pat, like yeah, sometimes you don't need words to express consent or uh you don't need words to express consent or uh, what the fuck you call it um excitement or um sometimes it's about body language and not just because if like if it all depended on like if you say just a yes or a fucking no like none of us would be getting laid <laughs> well no we'd be getting laid but like it wouldn't be It'd be like, huh? <laughs> be very clinical. Explicit consent, whether that be verbal, written, however it is that you're communicating. Verbal, written? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, y'all ever, um, y'all ever ever get written consent for fucking? <laughs> y'all ever get like a signed fucking contract? Oh, I consent to this blowjob. I consent to this. Wasn't that one of the fucking reasons people, people thought Fifty Shades of Grey was fucking weird? Because... Uh, Christian Grey got written consent to have sex with a fucking woman. That's weird, but this is fine. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say something. I uh, fucking forgot. Damn it. Hang on. Getting with your partner, saying yes, I'm okay with you doing whatever it is that you're gonna do. If it's any of those, those things. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Like, feminists will not tolerate a man needing a contract to have sex with a woman. Like, written consent, that's not happening. Not for feminists, because they want to be able to, they want to be able to uh, withdraw consent at any point just so they can fucking um, probably falsely accuse you of, of rape later on if they, feel, if they feel the need to, if they're a little too salty about your existence or the or that sexual encounter. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna let that shit happen. They're not gonna let written consent happen. <laughs> that's that's over, that, that would never happen. Not, not while feminists, not while feminists are around, uh, Wary Statue 33, boing, boing, born again, $2 super chat. Man, I have to go to the post office for sex. <laughs> uh, 531 moths, 40 rubles, dude. This isn't the Alvin and Chipmunk, Alvin and the Chipmunk set. Uh, Kitten uh, Commissar, uh, Mr. Squeaky. <laughs> Tyler McDonald, hi, I'm uh, I'm calling to request a license of consent to boink my girlfriend, please. <laughs> Written consent, oh God. <laughs> Not important, consent on credit. <laughs> Uh, Agna Breaker, uh, yes, sign here and here and initial here and, uh, good. <laughs> oh, Lord. And this goes for girls asking guys, too. Just because you're a girl or you're non-binary or you're gay or you're trans doesn't mean you don't need to ask consent. Everybody needs to ask for consent all the time, every time, every time. All the time, every time. Well, at least you know that other people besides men have to do this. But I'm still tripping on the written consent part. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Meowster Admiral, $10 super chat. We're at the point where feminists have done a complete 180 and became bigots. They literally organize people by their sexual orientation, uh, a sex orientation, etc. It pisses me off that I'm assigned a, a label for being bi. Oh, yeah, they, they suck. <laughs> and consent can change if you're doing something and you realize that you don't feel comfortable. Yeah, no shit. Like, I don't know. I don't. I'm glad you're spreading this message on TikTok because they, these motherfuckers need it. But, um, but yeah, for the most part, yeah, we know. And rapists know that consent exists. They don't care. That's why they're rapists. Uh, snoo birth, a snub birth, 13, five dollars super chat. They get mad with written consent because they want the option to revoke it years later. <laughs> yeah, basically. 
Oh boy, what the fuck is this? Let's click on that. How to be a conservative from someone who isn't a liberal or Democrat. I'm an independent leftist. Independent leftist. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> that is because you, you, you describe yourself as a leftist. Okay. Now we got this girl on the right. Who's ultra based who says, who says how to be a liberal in five easy steps. Oh, uh, let me, well, let me mute this shit. How to be a liberal in five easy steps. Be angry at this uh, Aunt Jemima uh, Serp. Yeah. They've been, they've been trying to erase black people from legendary uh, breakfast items for a while. <laughs> like this year. I don't know why. Wolf Spain, $2 super chat. I could, could, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. She signed the 12 P contracts. <laughs> Basically, yeah, be angry, being angry at black women on syrup. She's right. But, and then he rebuttal, rebuts with flourish off exploiting other people. Um, okay. <laughs> like her shit is backed up with facts and you're just kind of like, well, not, well, not facts. Now I know it's true. I know it's factual because I've seen articles on this shit. I know it's true. Like, oh, flourish off exploiting other people. Yeah, this teenage girl is exploiting other people, I'm sure. And assuming that she's conservative, why are you, cons why are you assume that? Because she, uh, because, well, because she's making fun of leftist bullshit? That's not how that works, sweetie. And put on a goddamn shirt. <laughs> the fuck you doing? You asking to be, you asking to be groomed. <laughs> oh. I'm an independent leftist. That's a fucking... Like, that is uh, a contradiction. <laughs> Orange man, bad. Oh, yeah, true, true. Say you're not homophobic, but then say burn a pride flag when someone says burn, burn in the American flag. Uh, now you're being specific. <laughs> Very specific. Like, you got anything to back this shit up? No? Like, why are you talking to this girl like she is a conservative or... No, sorry, not a conservative, but, like, more like, um... Um, what the fuck you call it? Alt, not alt-right. I can't stand saying that shit, but like, uh, far right leaning. Yeah. Why are you talking to her like that, dude? Like, you know, I bet you if you go to her fucking channel, she is not fucking conservative. She's probably just, uh, calling out shit as she sees it. And I love how this dude's a male feminist ball, but you love putting la labels on this girl. You love, uh, you love talking shit about like other, you know, girls and shit. Like you seem to have a, like, is that like, so these, they're fucking hypocrites. Every single last one of them do all your research on Twitter. Okay. Get all your facts from Fox news and C Tucker Carlson. Um, <laughs> like, so he's making all these assumptions about this bitch. <laughs> Use these words as your defense mechanism. No racist. <laughs> says you're not racist then yell aim at someone who says black lives matter because you feel like that what the fuck are you even talking about god this motherfucker is ghostly <laughs> he's like casper casper the friendly fuck boy jesus christ <laughs> put a goddamn shirt on expect to receive everything for free eh. says biden is a rapist and forget the trump is too and paid it off uh, yeah, there has been, like, no fucking proof of that. Like, absolutely fucking none. <laughs> People basically just say he's a rapist because it was something to say back then. When he was president. But, like, but, like this, it wasn't even proven. And, like, some of them were fucking, like, some of the, uh, supposed victims had been debunked. I think one of them fucking recanted and said, yeah, I was, I was just bullshitting, actually. <laughs> when Gloria Allred was involved in that shit, you should have known right then that it was bullshit. But anyway. You say Biden is a rapist. Like saying, by saying Biden is a rapist is going a little bit too far, but saying that he might be a pedo, that's actually... I'm fine with that, because there's actually documented proof of that shit. Anyway. Uh, expect everything for free. Said so Biden is a rapist, forget the Trump paid it Yeah, like I said, if you want to come with this shit, just like have some proof. I know it's TikTok, but goddamn. And oh, this ghostly ass nigga. <laughs> um 
uh, art arc Articus 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 Frost Articus Frost God damn it Articus Frost but with Biden it was immediately buried yeah like people got like him on video sniffing young girls and them like looking horrified in his fucking presence but that doesn't fucking matter to people like at all <laughs> it's it's kind of funny and horrifying uh, Lucas uh, Morhan, $5 super chat. I had a horrible day and came home to a $100 fine. This is lifting my spirits. You, you have a $100 fine? You're paying me money? Like, nigga, you gonna get that shit handled? Like, fuck this, fuck super chats. Pay your fine. Like, it sucks that you have a fine, but pay it. A dude in a shirt. There's that, uh, the Tara Reid controversy that got buried. Yeah, um, this supposed to be about all about women, but like, as soon as she came out and said, yeah, Joe Biden was kind of like, I've been saying this shit for like, what? She was saying this shit for like, what, 20 something years? It's consistent with her story. Then like people, all the like the uh, believe all women motherfuckers were like just shitting on her. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh God. Homolander. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Toxic masculinity. The barrel itself is not inherently poisonous, but there's an awful lot of apples trying to convince themselves they're not the toxic ones. Yeah. Looking right at him. <laughs> Evil hero diamond. Yeah, because if you act like they say, oh. Excuse me. Most men are scum and most men need to, um, and like all men need to, um, Acknowledge their privilege and all this bullshit. But if you ask a male feminist to acknowledge his fucking privilege, crickets, he ain't got nothing to fucking say. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, do you, um, I mean, some, some men like, like that black guy we saw earlier saying he makes women feel unsafe. Yeah, you got one of those. But I think this guy would be way too full of, full of himself to admit he's done anything wrong to women. Anything. He ain't gonna, he's not gonna fucking admit he's ever been toxic to women. Not fucking ever. <laughs> he's too up his own ass. Be a better apple. Toxic masculinity. Oh, that's it? Oh, God, that was terrible. Like, nothing was said. <laughs> hmm. All right, let me try this one. It's day 19 of doing impressions of straight people. Think about Dear God. Oh, whew. this isn't going to be good. And she looks like a, a recovering Holocaust survivor. <laughs> it's dark, but she does. Like she just discovered colors and brightness. And she like, she lives in Florida and she's, she got the first fucking shirt she saw with colors. <laughs> Didn't even give a damn about how tacky it looks. <laughs> Pinup doll, 1996, $5 super chat. They'll say, believe all women until a woman either disagrees, uh, until a woman either disagrees with them. Oh boy. Me is that I'm a man first, but also an intercessional feminist first. Wait a minute, what the fuck does that say? Why do people make this the fucking text all small? Look at this shit. You got all this goddamn space. And you made it so teeny tiny, you fucking asshole. Something about me. Something, something about me is that I'm a man first, but also an intersexual feminist. I stand by oh, fuck off. You could just say it instead of putting the text in the goddamn video. <laughs> God. And I stand by that. I just love females. Being an ally is one of, if not the most important part of activism, because I get to sit on the sidelines and then make suggestions about what women need to do, but not do any of the work because these little ladies got to do it for themselves. I thought that's what feminism was all about. Women learning how to do things themselves. So they have, so women do need men then like what, make up your fucking minds. Either they need, need them or they don't. <laughs> Sisters are doing it for themselves until we need strong men to help us. <laughs> Women, listen, I know my buddy Jason can be problematic sometimes, but he is a pretty cool guy. Besides, I can't go talk to him about his behavior because that sounds a lot like cancel culture to me. It's 
Oh god. Oh, you were so fucking miserable. <laughs> I mean, when you willingly look when you when you willingly make yourself look like uh Steve Buscemi with seven extra layers of skin, like you can't be nothing but fucking miserable. Shit. It's day 19 of doing impressions of straight people. Okay, okay, yeah. We're done with that. Done! Dunzo! Okay, what the fuck is this? Okay. Here's a little education for you, okay? It's 2021, and you need to know that women, 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 okay? Women, 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 okay? And if you're not a woman, you're a man. Okay. <laughs> I think this guy is trolling. I think this is... A... Wait, I think, yeah, because it says Byron... Byron Bertram comedian. So yeah, he's trolling. This is a joke. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking funny. Okay, never mind. You get a like. Boom. You get a like. <laughs> okay, what else we got? Like, this is there's a, su a suspicious amount of women in the male feminist tag. <laughs> if you think you're a good guy, please answer the following questions. Part two. Are you grossed out by periods? Do you think that breasts are sex organs and that the free the nipple movement is ridiculous? Okay. Hang on. If you think you're a good guy, please answer the following questions. Part two. Are you grossed out by periods? Yes. Do you think that breasts are sex organs? I think they're secondary sex organs. Yes. <laughs> and that the free the nipple movement is ridiculous. Yes. Because most of most of the people behind the free <laughs> behind the free the nipple movement are fucking waif white girls. With perfectly perky breasts, no fat on them whatsoever. And if they saw anyone with a different race, different size, different skin texture with their titties hanging out, they'd be the first to be like, yeah, you know, we don't need to do this anymore. And this is from like the same group of people who think that men are naturally fucking rapists and stalk them in the middle of the fucking night and oppress them. And they want to be naked out in public. Okay. <laughs> Makes perfect fucking sense. And your eyeliner is trash. What the fuck? Look like your eyes are upside down. What the fuck is <laughs> Oh shit, look like someone just flipped him up. My eyes got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> and I like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how how you became a uh, <laughs> I'll tell you how you became a, a, a oppressive man from Bella. I don't know. I fucked up that last part. Anyway. Do you think that there's nothing wrong with sexualizing a minor as long as they're a fictional character? Uh, it's creepy, yes, but like, if they are, f no, I, if they are an animated fictional character. If they're an animated fictional character, like, it's still fucking creepy, but like, it, they're animated. They're not real. And as long as they keep it to animated fictional characters, I'm not gonna go, like, knocking on their door with the fucking cops. I think they're a little creepy, yes! <laughs> like, sexualizing any minors is like, like what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking weird. You gotta fucking accept that shit. But at the same time, no, they're not, I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna ask them to, like, I'm not gonna send them to prison over fictional shit. Like, you can't send someone to prison for fictional shit or for not, like, just thought crime. You can't do that. It has to be, has to, have to have been a crime committed Oh, oh shit, excuse me. Do you get upset when women are involved in mostly male dominated things? No. <laughs> they don't fucking care. Now I know I'm answering this shit as a woman. Uh, but still like I'm sure she would probably expect someone like me to have a different answer. Have you ever made a joke about how oh, she's probably just on her period? Probably at one at a couple points. They're kind of lame though. They're not that original, but probably I've probably made some. <laughs> Have you ever interjected your thoughts into the female experience, such as women talking about what it's like to walk home alone in the dark? Have you yeah, like some like why the fuck are you walking home alone in the dark? Do you bring a flashlight with you? I mean, <laughs> like and what what kind of what are we talking about here? Because usually there's like Uber and taxis and shit. <laughs> People so sometimes have cars as well. So like, where, where the fuck are you walking 
where it's pitch black and like you have a chance of being attacked. I mean, that does fucking happen. Definitely. But it's like, why the fuck? How did you end up in that place? I can understand if you live in, um, if you live, like I said, if you or like and live in a distant franchise place, maybe like there's no bus service. Well, yeah, no bus service late at night, no taxi service, but there's always Uber nowadays. Yeah, nowadays, like with Uber, mm, I don't know. But like you're making it into a woman thing and not like a person thing. Nobody would feel comfortable walking around in the pitch black at night. Nobody. No fucking, but this is not a woman issue. It's not a woman issue, uh, sweetie. It ain't a woman's issue. Have you ever done this without being asked? Have you ever seen a man following a woman and not thought anything of it? How the fuck would he know? Like, he's trying to get somewhere just like the woman is trying to get somewhere. Like, how are you supposed to no really notice that? Because like everyone else, we're trying to get home and do our own fucking thing. Sometimes people just don't notice shit like that. Unless you are also peeping on people. <laughs> Uh, 530, 531 malls, uh, 100 rubles on fictional characters. Would those people rather actual, would pe uh, bleh, Would those people rather actual offenders do more diddling in real life instead of just beating it to random lifeless PNG? <laughs> what is that? Like, what is that? I don't know. Like, that's a question. Like I said, like, if you don't know this person has actually committed a crime, I, like, like you can't say anything. I mean, like you could say you could find it creepy, because you are f fully within your right to find that shit creepy. Like jerking off to minor anything is fucking creepy. <laughs> Regard, I don't give a damn if it is fake, but you haven't committed a fucking crime, and so therefore I don't fucking um I don't get myself involved in that shit. I don't like call the fucking cops on people <laughs> over some over a fucking drawing. Uh, Mr. N, $5 super chat. Uber can be sus as well, though. Oh, yeah, true. Um, shit. Chat, why do you keep doing that? Undead Ballerina, $5 super chat. How to be a liberal. Get angry at Dr. Seuss books and police officers in children's cartoons, but see nothing wrong with Amazon selling Mein Kampf. <laughs> do you think if an adult man sexualizes a girl minor but doesn't know that she's a minor because he didn't ask he is not in the wrong if you it depends if you're james charles <laughs> i mean well he sexualized young boys so i'm i'm guessing that doesn't mean shit to you but uh if yeah if you're anything like james charles you got to start asking questions after a while like why does this keep happening to you with the same type of fucking person same around the same fucking age. I don't believe you're being duped that much. <laughs> now, if it happens like once, maybe twice, then I'll be like, okay, fine. Because because there are girls who will fucking lie, whether you like to believe it or not, about their age. Because they want to fuck too. I mean, you're too young to do it, but they want to be grown and they want to be around dudes who uh, dudes that, that that they're attracted to. And they, some of them will fucking lie about their age so they can get some dick. Whether you like to believe it or not, that happens. <laughs> uh, Snub Burr 13, five dollars super chat. Let's be real, the lollycons are more likely to avoid real people or one hooker later be done with that one uh, or one hooker later be done with anime. The body pillows are more danger. <laughs> answered yes to any of these questions you are not as good of a guy as you think you are <laughs> think you are but that doesn't mean that you can't be just educate yourself and do better because <laughs> if i hear do better one more goddamn time <laughs> even if you are not assaulting somebody that does not mean that you are not unintentionally keeping the environment that encourages those who will alive do you think <laughs> You're not assaulting people, but you're basically just as bad because you're like, you're keeping up the same uh, fucking culture. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're keeping up the same kind of disgusting culture when you acknowledge that men are can also be afraid of being in dark alleys. <laughs> okay, bitch. 
what are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? When he volunteers that he's a feminist, which I could care less about, and then his porn search results are like, woman being gang raped, gagged, beaten, slapped, choked. Sure, dude, you're a feminist. What are... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm subscribed to her or following her because she actually had some good points. She's one of those, um, she's a... I guess anti third wave feminism. Like I said, you got to follow as many like minded, you got to follow as many um, sane people on TikTok as you can. Yeah, follow her. Yeah, her name is, uh, if you're on TikTok, I don't, I don't know if any of you are. Uh, Jackie Lowe, Jackie Lowe Show, I think her name is. Um, one word, no spaces, no underscores. <laughs> uh biden is not my president uh 15 dollars super chat you are awesome love your show i heard like there's some people like trying to debunk her on this or not, not trying to debunk her but like trying to like uh throw shade throw shade at her on this she made a video um some song about how women need to stop being bitchy to men just because they just because they hit on them in a bar or whatever and so and then they found this tiktok and then they had the nerve to be like oh well you're a hypocrite now like no <laughs> That's not how that works, sweetie. She's <laughs> saying male feminists have a tendency to be uh, rather, like what I've been saying this whole time, rather resentful or hate, hate, hateful towards women. Like some people do get off to like bondage porn and shit like that, uh, like with women or whatever. But like she's saying specifically when they do it, it's to purge some kind of like, like I said, distrust or negative feelings about women. But of course, because this is TikTok, you got to sum it up. Like everything is like a micro opinion. Like you can't go in depth with shit. So yeah, that's basically what she meant. Like people tr like try to get at her and they fail miserably because they're all fucking 15 year old girls. <laughs> like Tyler McDowell. Yeah, they're all, they're closet misogynists. Yeah, basically they like seeing that shit because they, they're just deeply resentful of women. Some like, some people watch bondage porn just because they get off on the whole, on like the fantasy and whatever. And there's some motherfuckers who watch it, <laughs> male feminists, because they are, they, because it's an outlet. <laughs> Mackie Sky, $5 super chat. Gotta do better, Jay Long. <laughs> okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? It's almost 11 o'clock. So, you know, gotta get some more under our belts. Uh, let's see this guy, oof. I got cat called on the street. And my female friend said, now you know what it's like to be a woman every day. And I was like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, shit! Bruh. Bruh, that was dumb. <laughs> what? That was, oh, that was great. You deserve a like, buddy. <laughs> uh, Mr. N, $20 super chat. Imagine being woke, but being unaware of how counterproductive your opinion uh, opinion is. Um. This would be it, fam. Also, I looked at Kevin Michael Richardson's role as Dr. Hibbert. He's got a, the laugh down, but he misses the mark. Yeah, I heard his voice. It just doesn't fucking fit Dr. Hibbert. He sounds like he works on, like, like he fucks white chicks in blacks. So not, not, he doesn't sound like wholesome little Dr. Hibbert. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Brian Courtney, uh, $20 super chat, sending love and some money. Thank you. This nigga killed it. <laughs> that was, that was B -b 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 base. <laughs> I got you deserve a like, buddy. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. And Bridget tries to like own him. Oh, wait, come on, like the goddamn thank you. Bridget tries to own him in the comments. Next time, be a minor because that's when we start getting catcalled. Um, I think he still say the same thing, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh, and then K little Kiki. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> oh, and this guy is called Fuck Bigots. Um, well, it's FK Bigots. Meh, crickets. <laughs> y'all, oh, y'all trying so hard. Just trying so hard. Uh, dozing foul, dozing foul, whatever the fuck. Her comment says, I like this video. Yeah, of course you do, but... <laughs> Uh, it's like a little different when you're 13 and it's a group of adult men, young sexual comments about your body. Oh, uh, is that really a common occurrence for you? Like it's just an adult, a grown ass men 
saying how sexy like this 13 year old got like a whole group of pedophiles that happen to be congregating together okay i'll buy it i'll buy it i'm not saying it doesn't happen at all but you're still talking you're talking like this is a common occurrence is it like you get accosted by pedophiles every openly every day Um, uh, Reardon, I think that's what her name is. Yeah, when it happens constantly and men scream at you and insult you uh, and follow you if you don't respond how they want, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, God. I, th I always thought, like, the catcalling thing was, like, low-key bragging. Like, I'm so fucking hot and so desirable that men just follow me around. I mean, oh, my God. Mr. N, five dollars super chat, he looks like Jeff Goldblum if he fused with Hank Azaria. He does. He really does. I want to play that again because that was fucking. That was the shit. <laughs> oh, and oh, wait, one more thing. One more comment, though. Bronte Wiggo, this one chick. Oh, so you're that kind. Okay. <laughs> They're trying so hard. They're so mad. They're so pressed <laughs> that he fucking got them. <laughs> let's, play, let's play it one more time, though. That was good. I got cat called on the street and my female friend said, now you know what it's like to be a woman every day. And I was like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> <I got <laughs> oh, that's the dude. That's the dude. All right, next. That was, that was a nice, that evened everything out. <sighs> Cause ignorance. Okay, let's see what this comment says for us. Why is it so hard for other people to understand this? Like, it's obvious. I don't know what the fuck that is responding to. But Mr. DVK, he looks different. He looks fucking, or is this, or is this another guy? There's a fucking choice. Yes, 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 yes. What are you saying yes to? Well, I've been summoned. So you answer every summons? No, I answer his summons because he is decent. Because it Okay, whatever. I don't know what the hell this is even responding to. It's so vague. Ugh. Okay, let's click on this one. Here's an opinion that might get me in trouble. <laughs> you look crazy. Oh, please let it be a good opinion. So fuckboys don't just disappear. As they get older, they have to change and adapt to their surroundings. What the fuck is wrong with her hair? Her hair, she looks like a Saint Bernard. So it was once a Not a Saint Bernard, but like a hipster uh uh collie. <laughs> Fuckboy in their 20s is now a male feminist in their 30s. They've morphed like a shitty Pokemon. I mean, if you're a feminist, why you gotta put that male in front of it? Why you gotta tell everybody all the time? That would make me suspicious. If I went around and was like, hi, I'm Jenny. I don't kill puppies. You would 100% be like, that bitch kills puppies. Here's a- All right, that's a good one. That's a decent one. Finally, a fucking feminist who, like, who has his head on her shoulders, thank God. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Somebody's talking about this shit. Hang on, hang on. Let's take a look at that one. Birth and she decided to kill her three-year-old child. This is not a new video in the slightest, but I just want to make a video explaining how violence against women will never be a feminist action. The entire video is- The fact that you even need to say that is the problem with your fucking group. <laughs> the fact that you need to tell your fucking people, hey, can you guys not fucking hurt other, like women who have opinions? <laughs> that's, that's everything that's wrong with feminists. <laughs> Oh, the male feminist ain't shit. Like, you have to tell, like, you have to put time aside to tell male feminists, can you not, like, almost, like, bruise and beat women who have different opinions than yours? Just an FYI, you gotta keep reminding motherfuckers. <laughs> like, come on. Mr. N, five dollars super chat. You know those skin complexions you'd see in the 70s and the 80s? Uh, yeah, that's what this mop is. <laughs> Jeez. is a pro-life woman 
discussing the topic of abortion with a pro-choice man. Out of nowhere, this man roundhouse kicks this lady. Violence against women will never be a feminist act, even if the woman has different opinions than you. The fact that you have to explicitly state that. Ew. I do not agree with what she said in the slightest. I don't think that that's a good argument at all. But instead of roundhouse kicking the woman, I would have fucking talked to her. And this <laughs> is another reason why I am so weary of calling men feminists. It's not a man's place to hurt women in the name of feminism. It's a woman's place. <laughs> He was it's not a man's place. Why did you make his the, the gender specific? You should say it's nobody's place to hurt anyone in the name of feminism. That's what you should fucking say. But you had to make the man part. Well, you had to genderize it. <laughs> you had to gender it. Why? I mean, I know we're specifically talking about male feminists here, but like no one should be beating anyone's fucking ass over a different opinion. Anyway, Mr. N, $5 super chat. Why is Killer Frost, what is Killer Frost talking about? Right house, Canada had already got his just desserts. But yeah, like I'm saying, these all this old ass shit, TikTok is just like catching up with it. They're like, they're like Russia. Russia's just now getting music from the 90s. <laughs> they're, they just late. They're fucking late to every fucking party. To disagree with this woman and have a civil conversation or not have a conversation at all. But if you think this man was in the right, please reconsider. And she okay, she's got a good head on her shoulders. But like, she, I think she's still a little like, she's almost there. <clears throat> the fact she had to gender that is like, nah, bruh. <laughs> no one should be hitting anybody over a different opinion. I don't know why you have to, to specify the gender part. But anyway, the guy that's all about feminism running his, running his mouth about it. I think I have to play the fucking song to get the context. Me, uh... Like pick me, like pick me, like pick me. Told that bitch, listen, no, no, you can't kiss me. I hit that thing once in a drift for the finish. Told that bitch, turn around, lick on it. I'm trying to like make sure the copyright shit isn't the, the cop make sure the copyright monster doesn't get me i got these girls and they fighting all up in line and they screaming i like pick me like pick me pick me like pick me like pick me like pick me oh okay it's saying basically saying male feminists are pick me's like yeah they are they are they are definitely Oh, she looks delightful. She looks like somebody's ex-wife or mi no, she looks like somebody's mistress. <laughs> Let's click on 1460. It. This is a little And she's got a British accent. Goddamn. <laughs> Reminding a monster of the possibility they could be held accountable for their vile behaviors, not truly. Tutorial for those of you who are yet to understand the difference between a troll who has been messaging women um regarding violent assaults um, he thinks anonymously, but has unfortunately not noticed that when you register with your email address, your username is automatically the name on your email. And the woman who received these messages, noticing his mistake and Googling his name. Here's where you need to concentrate. Get a pen, get some paper. And Googling someone's name, not illegal, not immoral. Messaging women, abhorrent, depraved, violent depictions of what you're... You Googled someone saying, did you leak the shit? Because if you leak the shit, that is immoral. <laughs> if you leak this fucking real name or like any personal information, that is definitely immoral, sweetie. Even in the UK, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I love how like these British cunts talk like this. <laughs> Not every British, but just like, just like British feminists. <laughs> You always talk like you're in the middle of a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> what you're planning on doing to them, totally illegal, not to mention totally immoral. And it is long overdue that you guys stood up and saw beyond the fact that he is in your age category and your class category and saw that he's a monster. Would you still be the victim if your wife, a sister or daughter? Uh, why would he be sending his own wife, sister or daughter? Fuck it. <laughs> Violent message? Why would he do that? Would he still be the victim if it's your wife? Would he? <laughs> um, I wouldn't. Like I said, I would not leak someone's fucking personal information over fucking DMs, over like hateful anonymous DMs. I wouldn't do that. That's just overdoing it. That's just too much. But now, if you choose though to to tweet, um, that's me. But like DM me. Like fucking nudes unsolicited? 
or you like or like you publicly do that shit i'm just like like yeah this person fu- like fuck this person and i will leak your fucking nudes and embarrass you <laughs> like i'm not i'm not above that shit don't fucking do that but over messages like stupid ass messages like no block them i think you could still i, I think you could block people on tiktok LTRT, $2 super chat, say uh, water, water, water. <laughs> Monster. Men between 40 and 60, this is a little ch- Making people accountable for their behavior is not trolling, darling. <laughs> oh, this guy again. Let's take a look at this dude. I'm a man and a feminist, so I will not. You're continuing to gaslight and talk down to women who try to criticize your misogyny. So thanks for proving my point. Oh God, so a, a, so a chick called him out. Hello. Okay, let's uh, let's see what he says. Talk over women when it comes to their experience of oppression as women. However, if your feminism fails to recognize the multiple ways in which white womanhood has been historically weaponized against people of color. See, you, you see that fucking loophole? You see that shit? I can be a misogynist to women as long as they're white. Because that's not, yeah, that's not a fucking fucked up loophole. So I can express my misogyny freely <laughs> and safely. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. <laughs> you misunderstand. I will definitely speak up about it. Now, I don't know what the fuck he said, but let's be honest. Do you think he said anything respectful? Did you, do, you th- do you think he said anything that wasn't gender specific about her, like calling her a cunt or whatever? Do you think, do you think that? No, no. <laughs> because that's a form of oppression that I've personally experienced and that makes me qualified to speak about it. I could be misogynistic as long as the bitch is white. <laughs> and why are you busy denying racism in the name of your feminism? I will also note that- Why are you whispering? You're outside. <laughs> He's so ashamed. <laughs> To make this shit public. Women of color are disproportionately affected by your denial. If your your feminism is not intersectional, you're not just hurting black men, you're also invalidating the voices of black women. I'm a man. So you're only a feminist for black women. Gotcha. Not for women, because you're such a good male feminist. Just black women. Or women of color. Just women of color. That's not feminism. <laughs> That ain't fucking feminism. That's not even intersectional feminism because you're leaving a group out of your fucking feminism. Like, like you're talking about this bitch leaving out women of color, but you are specifically leaving out women, uh, white women or like non-women of color uh, because you want, like I said, you want to express your misogyny freely. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a fucking hypocrite and goodbye. <laughs> you're a huge fucking hypocrite. Uh, oh my god, the British bitch again. Oof. Here are the f- All right, hang on a second. Let me read the super chat. Uh, Mr. N, five dollar super chat. Why does nerd... <clears throat> Why does nerd without a brain case sound like a Beatles band member? It does. Oh, uh, I already saw LTRT. Oh my god, I got hiccups again. I'm dry anyway, because all these TikToks, oh, oh, this British hoe again. And she looks like she definitely is into some money. The facts. Aha, uh-huh. oh dear, I'm, mas- I'm a massagist now. I have no problem with you. Your actions, however, are suspect. you tell me if you think my actions are suspect? I googled the name of a man who threatened to violently assault me in a series of messages, not just one time. I found out quite a lot of information from this Google search and I let my followers know what information I had managed to find on him without ever revealing his identity. You said you Googled his name, bitch. You didn't reveal that? You said you Googled his fucking name. Any personal details about him without screenshotting the comments. He remains completely anonymous to everyone but myself. And you didn't provide any screenshots of the comments. Of course you didn't because they probably don't fucking exist. But being a fucking victim online is such a dignified thing. <laughs> it's so fucking dignified. Yeah, a whole, not even a thousand likes off this shit. <laughs> I hope you're fucking happy for lying about, and she she has a hundred and something, a hundred and something, a hundred, wait, fuck, a hundred and something thousand followers off of being a fake ass vic- victim. I bet you it's fake. 
because otherwise you would exp uh, would have exposed the comments that are anonymous. Like you would have plastered them all over the fucking place. Why didn't you? Things like, I don't think that people like you understand. I, I don't think people like you understand. You must understand. <laughs> That's a quote from uh, from Closer, by the way, with Jude Law and um, Clive Owen. Like, Jude Law blurts out in one scene, like, you misunderstand. <laughs> he was such a cuck in that movie. But anyway, uh, let's, next one. I can't stand her ass. Every month, they go through this sacred surrender, the humility of letting go and saying, not just now, but we will try again. This is not their choice. They don't get to choose whether they feel like building this sacred home of human life uh, i feel like this is a continuation of something else does he have any other videos maybe i missed something did i see something earlier from him i could have swore i did i could have swore i saw a video from him earlier damn it oh let me go down a little further oh here it is part one i want to see part one Hello and happy moon day. Oh, he looks like a p complete douchebag. Hey, hearings <laughs> with Amy Coney Barrett got me feeling the kind of way as she talks about the subservience to her man. And I think it's time we flip the script. I think it's time we normalize men talking about menstruation. Not <laughs> <laughs> because I know better. But just as it's the duty of white people to speak into white privilege, it's the duty of men to speak into misogyny. Not because I know better, even though I do think I know better, ladies. Uh, see my hair? <laughs> I'm Samson in this bitch, and you're Delilah. Stroke me! <laughs> the duty of the privilege to speak into privilege. I think it's unfortunate and ridiculous. That doesn't even make fucking sense. <laughs> that women are still often treated as little more than flesh vases for our dick flowers, as hand. That's you, bro. That, that's that's your thinking. And Gatsby so eloquently put it in the net. It's ridiculous to me. Oh my God, we're taking cues from Hannah Gatsby, a fucking, <laughs> a fucking female Harry Potter drunk. Okay. Women have to hide in bathroom stalls to feed their children whilst hundred foot billboards. Whilst it's whilst, you fucking asshole. I can't stand you already. Oh, that women have to hide in bathroom stalls to feed their children whilst... 100 feet billboards of Victoria's Secret models stand on the street corners. What kind of fucking shit is this? It's all symbolic. It all, it, it's like poetry. It rhymes. It's all misogyny, baby. It's all misogyny. It's, it's, it's like bong bong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you slam poetry artist. Words of Victoria's Secret models stand on the street corner. Women are not but vessels for men's pleasure. Women are the sacred home of humankind. <laughs> This is a sacred home for... So that's another way of saying that we're flesh vessels. <laughs> this is a sacred home for... They're, they're the sacred hole for humankind. <laughs> You're not fucking slick, bro! <laughs> Every single month, potential mothers go through this most sacred process of cultivating a hospitable womb. Oh, get fucked. So I guess you're against vaccinations since women have irregular periods due to like, okay, never mind. You know, let's get off that. Let's move on. <laughs> and every month they go through this sacred surrender, the humility of letting go. The sick sacred surrender. We just shed our uterine uterine lining, bruh. Simple as fucking that. <laughs> as simple as fucking that. Oh, saying, not just now, but we will try again. This is not their choice. They don't get to choose whether they feel, no shits. <laughs> feel like building this sacred home of human life. This is bestowed upon them by the universe, God, Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Mother Goddess, whatever you identify as the over Those fucking stains on your shirt. How many times did you come on yourself thinking up this goddamn monologue for TikTok? <laughs> what's happening is gifted this to women and they must undergo this process whether they like it or not and what do we do do we celebrate this divine process of letting go no, no. <laughs> hell no we don't even celebrate it motherfucker men don't celebrate it and, and neither do we <laughs> why would we do that why this motherfucker has a childish understanding of what a period is some women go through horrible fucking pain going through a period
Like some women have like, um, I forgot what it's called, but like it's just like severe. Some women go through like some kind of neurosis through a period. Like some neurosis or some kind of, um, no, psychosis. Going through like, or like um, hormonal imbalances. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not, you know, horribly common, but like, so, like some women go through horrible pain going through periods and shit or like have like really uh, turbulent periods. You don't know a goddamn, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> Do we celebrate? Why the fuck would we celebrate it, bruh? Oh, ask me auntie, uh, uh, endome, oh God. Endome, uh, triosis, endome triosis. Endometri endometriosis, oh fuck, I'm so, I'm shit. At pronouncing shit. PCOS, yeah, cramps. Like some women have more severe cramps than others. I didn't have cramps. I had cramps for like the first year of my period. And after that, it was like nothing. <laughs> and then, but until I turned around 30, around that area, around that spot, then I started having them again. So I was lucky. <laughs> I think like I haven't, still haven't had any like cramps or anything, but like whatever. Endometriosis. Okay, endometriosis. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta separate into parts for me. I'm fucking slow. Uh, Alexander Grand Pierre, five dollars super chat. Now the Supergirl is on its final season. Oh, excuse me. You should consider hate watching and reviewing it next. I'd love to watch you tear to shreds. Oh God. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. I remember I did a written review on it. <clears throat> on Tumblr once. Yeah, I tore it to shreds then. I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, I can find it, you know. I'm not going to share it now. But I will find it and I'll show y'all what I, the shit that I witnessed in those first two episodes. A drunken Weasel is like, is this Jason Momoa? Don't you dare. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Sully the good name of Jason Momoa like that. Don't you dare. That motherfucker, that man is a treasure. Leave him alone. Like this motherfucker has like a childish view of periods. I'm just, I'm, no, I'm like, the, I'm a good man. I, I, I admit that periods are serious business that you should celebrate them. If you understood how, if you understood periods, you would uh, understand that we don't celebrate that shit. <laughs> it's not to be celebrated ever. Like get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> oh, fuck this guy. Ew, periods, yuck. You're bleeding? When are you gonna get off the rag so we can fuck again? Some guys are into the period sex, which, yeah, those are the type of men I will, will stay the fuck away from. Oof, no, fuck you. That's gross. Sometimes we are grossed about, grossed out by our own periods because it, that's what it is, it's gross. Bodily waste is coming out of us for four, four to seven days at a time. We also think it's fucking gross. <laughs> But he's not gonna con got, he's not gonna consider that shit. A red rose spark. No one talks like that. Exactly. <laughs> no one fucking talks like that. Mary Winchester. If I had the choice, I would not have them. One hundred one one hundred fucking percent. Uh, Layla L. Uh, Rifi Rifi. Oh my god, I suck. Incels are far far more bearable than male feminists. That's for sure. Yeah, this, like, male feminist is the step before incel. Like, right before you get to incel, there's that male feminist, um, there's, there's that whole, fe that male feminist, you know, um, what do you call it? That male feminist, um, phase you're in before you hit the incel. Now, a lot, a lot of incels can stay at the male feminist, can, they can coast that line for a long time because a lot of them are good at that grift. But like if they don't, if it doesn't work out and they're, they're, uh, and they're, uh, they're caught real quick, then they, yeah, they'll go straight to incel. <laughs> anyway. Oh God, this asshole. I'm back to this. No. No, this is unacceptable. It is time <laughs> we normalize men talking about menstruation of our society, normalizing this process and celebrating this process of sacred surrender. Happy Moon Day. Fuck off. 
<laughs> this nigga said thought he said something. Oh my god. If my boyfriend ever came to me and said, I want to celebrate your period, Lord, I would think he was fucking weird. I want him out of my life immediately. We, that's the day we would break the fuck up. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. This is unacceptable. Look at that smile. He thinks he could, he thinks he's secured so many panties. <laughs> I got your ass. I got you. Like, no, you were such a lame ass. Like I said, if my boyfriend ever came in with that, that fake ass bullshit. Nah, it's a wrap. Papa Gut, sit down. We have to have a chat. Here, I'll even do it Papa Gut style. All right. So yes, it is believe. No, how about no? How about you don't do that? <laughs> how about you don't do that? I'd fuck Papa Gut before, way before fucking you. Put on a goddamn shirt. Put it on. You know what I hate about this motherfucker? It's like he has the same kind of look that my ex-boyfriend had. <laughs> you know, I got the blue eyes, bald head, and a beard. He, it's not pink, mind you. Thank God. <laughs> I, th I even like dyed, like I even like used a, a photo app to dye his hair, like his uh, his beard hair a different color one time. And he, I sent it to him and he was like, what the fuck is this shit? Why the fuck would you do that to me? <laughs> he was so disgusted. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, I, I I can't stand the motherfuckers that some of the worst men look like him because my uh, my ex boyfriend is one like one of the best men and he looks like this. I don't like these worlds colliding. Ah, <laughs> uh, Papa Gut, if you want to de debate this live, DM me. Ooh. You could be a little, like, uh, could you be any more transparent? <laughs> Victims. Because if Sally tells me Bill did something to her, no, I don't want to go arrest Bill right away without an investigation. I want an investigation. That's why it's believe victims. You believe them enough to start looking into it. And you don't. No, that's not how that works. You, Even if you don't believe the victim, you, there's still an investigation. Believe them or not. Believe the victim, not believe the victim. There's always an investigation. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what world you live in where, oh, we don't believe this whore. No investigation. <laughs> you gotta like, like, it's gotta be like the most fucking corrupt cop you have ever seen. <laughs> Had to be the biggest piece of shit. To not, oh, you raped and rape kit, everything. Oh yeah, we're not investigating you fucking bitch. <laughs> That's not how that works. Oh, ooh. Don't throw it away and you don't shame people for coming out. That's what believe victims means. No, if you're, if your fucking, um, story doesn't make any sense. For one thing, I don't like when victims are all up on Twitter talking about this shit instead of going to the cops. That's what I don't like. Don't go on Twitter and talk about how you were assaulted and expect, um, mob rule to take care of the motherfucker. No, you go to the cops. And then when shit is handled, that, that, when they're investigating, then that's when you talk shit on social media. You handle your business first. Like, don't get on fucking Twitter. Don't get on fucking Twitter. Don't fucking do it. If you don't want people to talk shit about your situation, don't put it on Twitter. Do not put it on Twitter. Because if your no. shit, if your shit is fake and you don't want to be questioned, then stay off. Yeah, stay the fuck off Twitter. Stay the fuck off social media. Uh, David, uh, Zeldes? Uh, that fucker does look like a male feminist. I know, he's so awful. Saying to me, Ray, <laughs> do you really think that all men are bad? What can I do to prove that I'm one of the good ones? And you know, I'm a compassionate woman, and I really do think that some of you guys- Oh, Jesus, here we go. Like, her fucking condescending tone, I already don't like her. You deserve to feel better about yourselves. So if you're a man and my posts make you feel sad or guilty, I have a solution. Uh, uh, here we go. This is the moment. Like, this is the when the evil, <laughs> the evil is rising. Pay Pal me $30 or more. Here are the conditions. You will not contact me after you send the money. You will get nothing in return. The more money you send, the more not like other guys you are. So if you want to be a good male feminist, it's- This is actually the standard feminist. Like, they just want money, basically. They're just lazy asses who want money from men. Send me like if I wasn't a feminist, like it's just a way either I'm, I'm, I'm a feminist or I'm on OnlyFans. <laughs> but if you don't want to do the work to secure an OnlyFans, you just like, yeah, you're just, you'll just be act like an asshole and ask for money. 
Because that's well what like third wave femini- feminism is. It's just men, just give me money so that I don't have to like work or do anything, please. Devin Simpson, $2 super chat. I stopped in to say hi. Love you. Uh, love you for all you. For all you. Love you for all you. Uh, well, thank you. Cyan Gorilla. Lol, the griff never stops. Exactly. Flying Fish 64. She just went, fuck you, pay me. Oh my God, Hannah W. Uh, 2016. She looks like that crazy chick from iCarly. <laughs> Me thirty dollars or more. Men are always saying to me, "Uh, her lips look like uh, her lips look like fucking labial folds at a porn wax museum." <laughs> and I'm like a wax museum for porn stars. That's they look. That's I say f- that women are more superior than men. I don't mean they're better. And all these comments mm-hmm. of men saying, "Well, we have to deal with this. We have to do this. We have to go through this." Shut the fuck up. I've dealt with anxiety. I've dealt with depression. I've dealt with bipolar. I've dealt with suicidal thoughts. I've tried killing myself. I've dealt with the I, I don't. Cor- I don't doubt that. Like you're demonizing your entire gender. I think you're still depressed. And I think you're still suicidal. I think you still deal with a lot of fucking issues. And that's why you're saying shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Any, any form of comfort from women will do. Anything that will make me fucking forget that my mind is a war zone. Mike Testa, 199 Super Chat. She's so compassionate like a blow-up doll. <laughs> Those lips. <laughs> ...cultural conformities that tell men to push their emotions down and hide them inside. So don't come at me with that, that bullshit. Women have to go through things that men will never have to even imagine in their lifetimes. <laughs> And the we- shit they list is so goddamn stupid. Well, people think I'm a whore if I sleep with five guys in a week. Maybe. Maybe you are, okay? <laughs> I have to deal with people insulting me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Dracy Lee, $5 super chat. Don't worry, I expect... I don't expect anything from you in return. Um... Ruby Mary, $5 super chat. Hey, how about we don't compare each other's mental health? Thank you. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, Zachary Folsom, five dollars super chat. I don't care for farting, but I just think it. This is the funniest channel I found in years, and I want to show it. Thank you. Five hundred thirty-one moths, forty rubles. But Jay, police bad, stinky. They won't help. A cab. <laughs> oh God. The comments and women, you can speak for yourselves because I don't know what that's like. But if any of these videos cause any men to get upset or get defensive. I'm sorry, your ego is so fragile and your self-confidence and value and identity are so fucking small. Women deserve the appreciation, respect, and value that they... She looks like someone, uh, uh, like her skin and her hair looks like someone, uh, set her on fire for like a good 30 seconds and stopped. She looks just so fried out. (laughs) Her hair is so black and her skin is like so fucking fried. (laughs) Like I remember, um... Pretty much it. They did like this. Uh, of course, they, they do commentaries and shit on their channel. And like he said about this girl, uh, one of the commentators said about this girl, she, like she look, they look like Burger King chicken fries. <laughs> that I think that's her. That is definitely like a Burger King chicken fry. That's what she looks like. That's her skin texture. <laughs> Should always have from the beginning. They're not a piece of ass. They are equal humans in this world. So yes, I look up to them and I feel like they are superior to us because of the shit that they have to put up with because of us shitty men. I said what I said. I said what I said. Look, look, ugh, look. <laughs> it does like your miserable ass is not fucking. You're, you're not. This shit is not invalidated because well, I've dealt with stuff too, and I think I'm still a piece of shit. <laughs> I've had depression. No, I've had anxiety. You still have that, sweetie. You still got it. You over here fucking saying all men are trash. And in the same breath, I've had depression and anxiety. Yeah, you still have it. You're still, you still hate yourself. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? What is not clicking? <laughs> it's not, still not valid to say, honey. It's still not a valid opinion. <laughs> it's because you with a penis is saying it. It means nothing. In fact, uh, because of your logic, it means less than nothing. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Ladies and gentlemen. 
the volume inside of this butt. Dude, stop. Is his beard green now? Like mint green? Or is like that just the lighting on his on his beard? I think it's green. That's his fucking beard is green. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Farter says, I've had athlete's foot. <laughs> Dennis Fairman, $20 super chat. Hi, Jay. These guys are P-boys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Decent Dangle. Why is it green now? I don't know. He keeps dying his fucking beard, different colors. LTRT, $2 super chat. They're equal. Also, I think they're superior. <laughs> yeah, doesn't add up, does it? Doesn't add up at fucking all. Mr. N, uh, um, it's actually teal. <laughs> Who gives a damn? He gets he keeps dying his goddamn beard. Uh, slate rock, soylent green beard, <laughs> period red beard, piss yellow beard. <laughs> yeah, the worst colors. Uh, bullet tooth Tony, a four ninety nine super chat, and he will continue to dye different colors until he finds a shade that hides his double chin. <laughs> oh, um. Oh shit, Four, uh, 531 moths, 40 rubles. You fools, he's actually growing moldy. <laughs> yeah, all that simping, all that coming out of his mouth, all the moisture coming out of his mouth from all that simping, is actually the moisture's growing in his beard. Like, the moisture <laughs> festers and now it's growing mold in his beard. Ugh. Okay, now what the fuck does that tweet say? Darren A. Robinson the second. Dudes hate women so much they hate dudes for not hating women. What? <laughs> oh, and she wants that black cock so bad. Oh my God. Is he on blacked? <laughs> Can I find him on blacked? And like, it's such like, oh my God. I just realized this fucking, this, this. <laughs> I just realized this fucking, um, this arrangement here. He's. Like the bald fat guy is cheering her on for sucking his black dick. <laughs> he's sipping. He's, he's a fucking cock. He's cocking it. <laughs> it's 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 e cocking. It's e cocking. She's sucking his fat black dick while he watches and cheers her on. <laughs> oh, you got okay. Pastel Loca, five dollars super chat. Dude really said, you know what? I'm gonna dye my beard the color of grass my neighbor has. Oh god. Like she's even got her hand, like she's jerking it. <laughs> jerking that black dick. Oh, like, yeah. My wife's boyfriend has a monster cock. Ladies and gentlemen, the my girlfriend is getting that black dick. <laughs> like, like she had her fucking. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, I'm gonna pause it on a perfect frame. Hang on. Astronomical. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball. God damn it! I keep missing it. Hang on. Hang on. This bus is hang on. If I turn it down, I have more focus. <laughs> Oh God, hang on, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> we need to um, properly, God damn it. I gotta do it immediately, like like that, because there's. I think there's a, a second, half a second delay. There it is. <laughs> She's sucking Darren A. Robinson's dick. <laughs> and her white boyfriend is fucking cucking like, yeah, bitch. That's my girl. <laughs> yeah, choke that cock. <laughs> choke that cock, Astrid. Do it. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I got to stop. I got to stop hanging on my microphone. My head hurts from laughing. <laughs> oh, she getting it. <laughs> and that's on men calling gentlemen sips. Oh, gentlemen. He's a self-proclaimed proclaimed gentleman, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's a screenshot. Bye, gal. <laughs> that's another screenshot from the from the stream. Oh, 
god, that's my baby girl. <laughs> RRU is like, that's my baby girl. Uh, Mr. Low, low, low tier trash, buy all the super chat. He has ascended even further beyond. <laughs> Oh, more right media. No, sorry, more weight media. She's like gaw gaw gawking it. <laughs> Red Rose Spark. I wish that was me. <laughs> oh. oh my god, G Craith. Does she have a Spain tattoo it by any chance? Frankenfurter, bald dude, bald dude's girl gets blacked. <laughs> oh fuck. This has been a, a wonderful experience. <laughs> hey, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna see um, everything I saved because I need to like make sure my whole. Um, I want to make sure my whole uh, clipboard gets saved because I don't want to lose any of this shit. This is primo shit. This is primo shit. Where is the rest of my fucking clipboard? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna okay minimize that. Oh God. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I want, I want more of the bald guy. Where's more of the bald guy at? I want more bald guy because we're like half an hour away from ending this shit. I want more bald guy for now. There we go. There we go. We got some more bald guy. Okay. Apparently this is a teenage boy who has sexist opinions and he's uh, speaking truth to power. <laughs> The bald guy. And now his beard is like red. It's like red red. It's not like the Kool-Aid red from before. It's like red red now. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> Teenage girls when billionaires don't completely destroy the economy by selling off all their stock to feed some shitty African country for like two years. <laughs> and one of the... Oh my god. And one of the TikTok girls email me, email my school, please, and get me suspended or something. I'm kind of tired of it anyway. What the fuck is, what is this? What are you, his fucking grandmother? Oh no. Dylan, what are you doing? Dylan, no. You're disappointing your grandpa. Honestly, if you got pronouns in your bio, just don't follow me right now. Look, man, we get it. You're afraid of teenage girls. So I have one. Why? He, uh, I don't think that's what it is. I think his points are clearly stated. He is not afraid of teenage girls. But like I said, this guy is after teenage girls. So. <laughs> oh, my God. This person in his uh, chats has a picture of EDP in their profile. Ooh. Okay. One thing to say. Um, boo! Yeah, that's not even fucking funny. And why do you have that picture on hand? Considering that's an old picture of Haley, not Haley Duff, uh, Hillary Duff, when she was a teenager. How long you've had that picture, yo? <laughs> How long you had that picture, bro? Why you have that picture? <laughs> why you got that fucking picture? Why that picture? It's old. Like, H Hillary Duff is, is a grown woman now. Why you got a picture of her when she was a teenager? You coming off suspect, bruh. That's all I'm saying. You coming off suspect. Because <laughs> you look because you look old enough to have been alive or, like, cognizant during the Hillary Duff years. <laughs> I was like, why you, why you got that picture, bruh? Why you got it, bruh? Why you got it, bruh? <laughs> Oh, Sheepy Waltz, uh, the new movie, <laughs> the new movie Bob just dropped. Uh, Commander Prague, I can't, ex I can't escape from the sus. 
Notice that you've never used the word slut to define a man before. If you call a man a slut, you call him a man slut. Ask yourself, why do you do that? Could there? No, I just call men sluts. There's no fucking point saying man slut. I mean, you could do that, and I don't really care if you do, because it doesn't fucking matter. But like, could it be because of sexism? No, it's because we just say man slut. It's actually just funny saying that. There be some double standards going on here. Hmm. Have you ever noticed you? This is such low tier trash. This is something to get fifteen year old girls on your dick. Plain and simple. I don't. I don't see any other possibility. Oh, here he goes again. Here he goes again. Aren't you that simp that believes women are people and deserve? Oh, fuck off. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Suck a dick. Rylan, five dollar uh, super chat. You should take a look at uh, Lucas Arnold TikToks. He makes a bunch about women's clothing and how they're they're sexist. Total male feminist. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> uh, just call me Kai. Movie Bob DLC. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I think I'm going to save this one too. Oh, Lord. Guy is sad. He looks in, he looks like he's in pain right here. <laughs> okay, just saving this shit. Uh, how do I, oh, my clipboard. There it is. Oh, they just give me my clipboard history? Fuck off. Oh, boy, bruh, come on. Oh, this I might look at his whole channel in a minute to fill up some time because, whoa, boy, I don't like this motherfucker. He's sus. But th oh, now look at his <laughs> His beard is patchy. Oh, no. Men are insecure. In general, our society has made us insecure. Yeah, um, no argument here. <laughs> this is what toxic masculinity is at its base root. We can't drink. You need to. You look like, uh, you look like a grape soda flavored Hitler. Like, what the fuck? The fuck is this? You need... <laughs> what do you got? A drink that's too girly. We have to drink straight black coffee. You want a margarita? Men have to drink straight black coffee. What? Stereotype? What? Rita, what are you, a sissy? When we're kids, we're taught that dolls are bad. Anything at all that's feminine is bad. Yeah, we ta we're taught that dolls are bad. Even um, G.I. Joes. <laughs> G.I. Joes are like uh, Avengers toys or shit like that. We're taught that dolls are bad. No, you're not ta they're not taught that dolls are bad. Now I'll, ag I'll agree. And some boys are told, like, yeah, you can't play with dolls because you're a boy. That's not. That's more of a girl thing. But those are specifically like uh, sex, like bad parents, <laughs> bad fucking parents. See, my mom in our house, like, it wasn't like this. My mother didn't make it an issue that I play with, like, because most of the time when I was a kid, I wanted to play with boys' toys because I thought those were more interesting toys. They they caught my attention more than fucking Barbie dolls and shit. And my mom didn't fucking care. As long as it was in her uh, price range, she didn't give a fuck. But that's because my mother's not a bad parent. <laughs> Period. She wasn't like, uh, no, I'm sorry, you're a girl. You can't buy that shit. Because that's, you're depriving a child of what they want, of fun, of the fun they want to have. It's not even really about gender, really. It's like, just like, don't do that ever. <laughs> Adam Milan, uh, 250 RSD. Can't think of anything witty to say right now. I'm just here to support our favorite baby girl. Oh, God. Thank you, but thank you, but oh. Uh, also, happy Man Day in case you were celebrating. Oh, happy Man Day to you, too. Oh, dear Lord. And because of all this insecurity that we have, a lot of us have become misogynists, where we truly believe <laughs> the lie that we are superior to women. We've created strong. 
uh, citation that every like most men think they're misog- or the most men think they're superior and are misogynistic. Do you have anything to support this? No, because they gotta say most because that boosts up their ego. I'm one of the few who don't believe this. I'm the special man. <laughs> I'm the special man. I'm the only man. The Omni Man. <laughs> They got to tell themselves this lie so it'll boost up their ego. That's basically what it is. Structures to keep women down. Remind them that they're inferior to us. Like how they'd usually change their name when they get married. Or the fact society expects them to take care of the kids and the house. You see the... <laughs> oh, it's not that hard to like, you know, not give a shit about that. Patriarch is born out of... Like this is usually just like people's like dumbass opinions. And they're easily avoidable, a lot of these, like, honestly. Of this insecurity. Perhaps they develop together in tandem. Bottom line, though, if you're a misogynist, you're just a coward. You're just an insecure <laughs> coward. The first. You're just an insecure coward. I'm easily talking about myself. Like, you're just insecure coward. Step to getting better is admitting it. Men are insecure. In general, are. I'm going to his channel. We're going deep into his shit because, who oh boy, I don't like him. <laughs> He's got, uh, he's following 1,223 people, but his follow, he's got like, damn near 50k, uh, followers. Okay, oh my god. I'm, I, I kind of want to follow him, like hate follow him, just to see uh, where this goes. <laughs> but no, not everything is a scam. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Most things are scams, and that's because- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let's see what he got to say. This is the profit motive in capitalism. Let's take the- Oh no, no! I'm not surprised he's a fucking filthy commie. But like, it, oh God. <laughs> it's still like it hit me really badly. Dr. Diddler, $2 super. Like, it's like in a situation where like you're in a dangerous situation with a murderer. Like you're not surprised you got stabbed, but it still hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't judge me. If I had a shocked look on my face after getting stabbed in a situation where I know I'm going to get stabbed. Because <laughs> it just fucking hurts. Uh, Dr. Diddler, $2 super chat. Society expect me to wear, expects me to wear pants. Well, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, bald, va bald vouch. Uh, soy commie. <laughs> okay, grandpa. Capitalism bad. Take the food industry, for example. Junk food that is bad for you is cheaper and more available than good food that is nutritious. No, it's not. Bad food is cheaper than... No, it's not. You know how much a bag of fucking sweet chili Doritos costs? It costs like $3 and some change. Now, uh, like, a, in like a tall bag. Now, when I was a kid, they were a fucking dollar. <laughs> they were a fucking dollar. Like, maybe like a dollar fifty. And like those little tiny bags of chips are like this big. <clears throat> they were like 25 cents. You get four bags for a dollar. That was a fucking deal. <laughs> I used to love that shit. Like, it was like the little bags, 25 cents, the bigger bags, 50 cents, and the big bags were like 150. Now, like, a, a, this, a bag this big is like $3.29. That shit ain't cheap. You could probably could have made this argument like 10 years, no, not 15 years ago. Not now. That shit, like, junk food is not less expensive than regular food. Get the, get your big ass. <laughs> this ain't nothing but some, this ain't nothing but some fat guy bullshit. It's much more, it's much more affordable than, than actually eating healthy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know how much, uh, uh, you know how much how, you know, want to know much, how, oh my God. I almost, I got confused right there. You want to know how much, uh, like a whole bundle of bananas is? It's like, uh, what? A dollar and some change? Because like at, at Walmart, like a, uh, a banana is like, um, what was it, like seven cents each, I think? Five or seven cents each. I wish I could look it up right now. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do, let's go shopping, bitches. <laughs> um, let's please don't show any of my personal information. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. I don't think you should see anything that I don't want you to see. The, the, the bag of Chips Ahoy is $6, $6, dollars $3.67. Let me look up bananas. <laughs> Let me look up bananas. This is Walmart. Oh, it's not even, hang on. One banana is like 19 cents, 19 cents. 
All right, now let's add, I don't know, like uh, six. Six. All they got six bananas are a dollar thirteen, and compare that shit to a like a reasonable size bag of fucking Chips Ahoy, which is three dollars and sixty seven cents. <laughs> you could you could switch up the fucking uh, Chips Ahoy for a whole roll of bananas, but you're not gonna do that because you're just fat. <laughs> I'm saying this as a fat chick. I would re look at all this cheap shit. Look at all this shit. A dollar a pound. Like, so four pounds, like four or five pounds. No, four pounds. Or three and a half pounds of grapes is $4.28. Like, three and a half pounds of grapes is fucking four twenty eight. Meanwhile, like a little bag of fucking, like I said, a little bag of Chips Ahoy is $3.67. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure that shit's not even a fucking pound. Look, you see, look at these prices. Look at this shit. It fruit and like healthy stuff is actually cheaper than the more because like yeah because usually fruit and shit is like from the earth they don't have to do anything to it at least not really and shit like cookies and chips they gotta do extra shit to it it's manufactured it's got like other ingredients and that's why it costs more that's one of the reasons why it costs more so yeah that's complete fucking horse shit I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> for you and on top of that I'm, I'm gonna I'll play it one more time I'm gonna like restart it I can't stand and I can't restart this properly <laughs> but no not everything is a scam I'm sorry but you're wrong most things are scams and that's <laughs> most things are scams because of the profit motive in capitalism let's take the food industry for example junk food that is bad for you is cheaper and more available no it's not I just proved it wasn't fuck you <laughs> no it's not I think I missed another super chat. Uh, okay, no, okay. And it's the last one before the next one. Uh, Evra, Evra Grace, I think that's it. Uh, Two dollar super chat. Capitalism made me fat. <laughs> plop plop. Two ninety nine super chat. Uh, I left for a few minutes and came back to bananas. <laughs> I know. I, he said some dumb shit that um, uh, that uh, fattening foods are more are less expensive than uh than fruit and like healthy foods which is bullshit <laughs> total bullshit i had to go to fucking walmart uh walmart grocery to prove his ass wrong more weight media uh two dollar super chat um capitalism is bad okay <laughs> patriots wraith uh frozen blueberries only commies eat frozen grapes no, wait, sorry, Fro frozen blueberries only. Oh, oh my God. Frozen blueberries only. Commies eat frozen crepes. <laughs> uh, Scott's, Scottsky 02. Male feminists and commies belong together. <laughs> Isaac Avila. Capitalism, racism, and patriarchy made me fat. All right, let's, let's, uh, oh, Red Rose Spark. Uh, he believes fattening food is cheaper. No wonder he, he has that size. All right, let's let's keep let's keep going. Available than good food that is nutritious for you. Wrong. Who does? Does your mother shop for you? Because <laughs> that's not true. It's not true. It's not fucking true. I mean, like you have to be an idiot, like because um, naturally it's not. It's just not true. If you even if you think about it for more than a second, it's not true. Anyway, and on top of that, some people can't even go to the grocery store because fast food is close and the grocery store is miles and miles. Mm, no, some of my favorite fucking restaurants are further away than a grocery store. <laughs> some of my favorite fucking restaurants like um, something called Grady Snack and Dine is all the way out in Indiana. It's not that far, but it's further out than fucking Walmart. You know what I'm saying? miles away food deserts and food swamps look it up this is designed to put more money in the capitalist pocket and they <laughs> <laughs> yeah they purposely make um they purposely <laughs> put a grocery stores further away so the restaurants can make more money that makes fucking sense you realize that grocery stores are also products of capitalism they still need to rely on capitalism to make money too bitch <laughs> you realize that right <laughs> why the fuck would they sac sacrifice their businesses 
to let like junk food places and restaurants thrive. Why the fuck? Huh? Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't make sense. Oh, drunken weasel. Y'all ever heard of free enterprise? Uh, Agna Breaker, if you eat healthy food, you are still buying the food, you stupid old man. Dr. Diddler, $5 super chat. New York Times has an article from 2015 discussing how access to healthy food had no significant impact on the health of locals. Easy Google search. Uh, Goat Art Bazaar, $2 super chat. I'm a Hoosier, Hoosier, and I had that place. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Brady Snack and Dine, hoo hoo. <laughs> Snack and dine simps forever. Really? He has a childish mentality. Yeah, he does. Uh, holy, holy one, T-O-3 or two, three, holy one, two, three, I think. Um, this is the first time I'm at one of your streams and I am getting so triggered. Oh, uh, Jen, uh, Gino Gamma, 13, $10 super chat. Who this guy looks like. Um, welcome to Al's toy board. <laughs> oh, shit, he does. Welcome to Al's Toy Barn. We've been, we've got the lowest prices in town. Everything for our buck, buck, buck. Oh God, he does, except with less hair. Jesus Christ. Make that bad junk food addictive for you. You literally. They make that junk food. Like I'll semi agree with that. I'll semi agree with that. They make junk food addictive. Well, sugar is that. No, fuck it. Sugar is naturally addictive to fat, like for fat people. It's addictive for fat people. <laughs> they don't, I don't think they do it on purpose. It's just like, uh, well, not at first. I think back in like, when like, I think at some, some certain point, people were like, well, sugar, it's like, it tastes good. So just put it in every fucking thing. And after a while, people were like, you know what? If we put this shit in everything, a lot of people will buy this shit, <laughs> especially fatties. <laughs> So, uh, you know, let's keep doing it. Just like with tobacco. I think at some point people just thought tobacco was, oh, it's safe, whatever. But then people uh, find out, okay, maybe it's not so safe. But uh, cigarette companies were like, oh, well, it may not be safe, but we can still get people addicted on this shit. <laughs> Say nothing's wrong with it. Keep selling it. You know what I'm saying? You, you feel me? Uh, Goat Art Bazaar, $5 Super Chat. This guy gives me the creeps. How many months do you think uh, he will... We will hear bad things from him. I say six months. We could solve hunger in this... Yeah, this came out one day ago, this video. ...country. We throw away more food than we need. But to okay. Make 10 people... You think that with the existence of fat people in the U.S., we wouldn't throw away any any piece of food? <laughs> Officer Buck Trudessel? Always fun to watch socialists and communists projecting their selfishness and over uh, overcomplication onto capitalism. Yeah, he's fat. You're fucking fat, bro. <laughs> it's not that, but oh, junk food is so much cheaper and it's not cheaper. It's not, it's factually incorrect. <laughs> it's fat, like it's, it's fucking factual that actually junk food is more expensive because it takes more to make it. It takes ingredients. Bananas ain't got no fucking ingredients. It's just a banana. It's just what it is. <laughs> Bananas, grapes, apples. That's why it's fucking cheap. Because <laughs> it just is what it is. Now, if you get an apple fritter, guess what? Now, it's not only apples. It's carbohydrates. It's crust. It's butter. It, sometimes you get, the, like, the the apple fritters, like, with the frosting on top of shit. This frosting goes in that, and it takes time to make that shit. That's why it costs more. People a bunch of money, we don't do it. And that's just one example. I could talk about planned obsolescence, the medical industry. I'm sorry, Hank, most things are scams. <laughs> most things are scams, because I'm fucking, yeah, the food industry, it's a, it's a scam, because I'm, oh, he's responding to Hank Green. Oh, fuck. It's a queef off over here. <laughs> Oh, it's a queef off over here. Uh, yeah, like I said, and I'm sure this one, th these videos don't get as many likes and as much attention as his feminist videos, naturally. Because, oh, yeah, you're all right with feminism, but everything else, you're kind of a dumb fuck. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, you're fat. That's why you think um, junk food is less expensive than healthy food because you're trying to justify being fat. <laughs> That's what it is. 
don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. So if you still don't believe in white privilege, notice how that white man walked away from that interaction without being shot. Oh my god! <laughs> you f you f <laughs> Oh, holy white, your leftism is showing. <laughs> Oh, oh, Snoopy in the uh, uh, Snoopy, uh, like the, the like the one like the this like this comment on his on this video was made 15 hours ago by Snoopy. Do you forget that good cops exist? Which I think Snoopy is a black man. I think maybe his uh, his icon is of a black man. I'm not sure if he's actually black. You know, there's a lot of motherfuckers who lie. Or just use pictures of other people, like so. You see how he walked away from that occurrence without being shot? <laughs> um, well, it seems like they were laughing and carrying on as, you know, as if the uh, driver is very charming and maybe complied with what he was asked to do. I'm just saying. You can't, oh, he's white, he's white. That's why he didn't get shot. What kind of shit? <laughs> Let's let's see what else he has to say. Like it's almost midnight. I think I'm gonna go on till twelve thirty because I want to see more of this asshole. Oof! Notice how the cop joked and laughed with him. Yeah. Yes. Because the dude, like, you show like an out of like two seconds of out of out of out of uh, context footage. You don't show the whole thing. Like I said, he's probably like, oh, he probably came up to him, was like, hey, license and registration, all clipped like cops usually do. And dude was probably like, like, okay, sir. And, blah, 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 and did a lot of like smarmy, um, well, not smarmy. He did a lot of like charming shit. He probably brought up some shit, like relatable shit. Like there's some motherfuckers who try to like, like sweet talk other people so they don't get a fucking ticket or they don't get their ass whooped by the cops or whatever. But hey, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. Clearly... This is a jovial fucking experience. Why the fuck would the cop suddenly get mad? This motherfucker seriously believes, like, if if a black man had sudden, had been nice to the cop and been jovial just like that, he just would have been shot regardless. <laughs> what? This is a banger right next to capitalism made me fat. <laughs> Yeah, white privilege does not mean you're rich. It does afford you a bit of a resistance to being shot by a cop. <laughs> oh, you didn't even... Sh it's two seconds of out of out of context footage. And it, clears, and it clearly shows them getting along. Which means what? Like, what are you saying? That black people are naturally not cooperative with cops? Is that what you're implying? What are you implying here? <laughs> Look, you're implying some really fucked up shit. Oops. I don't know what you're talking about. Like he turned off his fucking car. I bet you this was a fucking video about how to um, approach cops or like how to conduct yourself when cops pull you over or some shit. Because like I'm looking at this like, is this instructional or some shit? But of course, like I said, he only shows two seconds of out of, <laughs> of, out of context footage. So I can't tell. I can't fucking tell. Anyway, let's try something else. Okay, Senator Deborah Fisher, I wonder... My senator thinks hardworking Americans make over 400k a year and it's unfair to tax them. <laughs> In President Biden's address, address tonight, he laid out a policy wish list that he wants Americans to pay for, uh, wants to pay for through major tax hikes. This is not fair to hardworking Nebraska families, communities, and small businesses. The American people expect the president to keep his word, deliver on his inaugural inaugural, inaugural promise of bipartisan, bi bipartisanship, fuck, and unity, and work with the 50-50 Senate uh, to build consensus. Huh? What's wrong with this? You need to leave. What is about this? implies that she thinks all of, like all the people in um in Nebraska are rich. Huh? Where are you getting? Where are you getting this? 
my senator thinks hardworking Americans make four hundred over four hundred k a year, and it's unfair to tax them. What about that? Is what? I don't. Does he think that hardworking people, uh, <laughs> like I don't know what the fuck is he implying here? I don't know what the fuck he's implying here. This is so fucking confusing. Joshua Maurer, uh, does he realize when you raise taxes on the rich, they pay less? <laughs> they hide their assets and go elsewhere. Guess who picks up the tab afterwards? Drunken weasel farmland, Jay. Mm. Frankenfurter, what about this is wrong? Jack Burton, this bearded douche is the textbook definition of smugnerance. <laughs> I don't get I don't get what he's trying to say. I really don't. I don't I don't get it. Uh 531 moths, 100 rubles. Uh my fair white skin gives me a plus 50 resistance to gunshots, didn't you know? It also gives me a special modifier when I roll up roll for persuasion with the cops. Lance Johnson points finger owned. Yeah, I'm just gonna go past this one because I have no idea what the fuck he's trying to say. Uh, I might skip the ones with the articles because, like, this fucking idiot. Stacking the deck. How do how the GOP works to suppress minority voting. Hard for people learning to spell in English. For example, there is a Recu Republican voter suppression efforts are targeting minorities. Journalists notice how he doesn't list Silent anything. K in not oh, like there's a comment. <laughs> there's a comment on this on this video. It says Adala, like like the guys that said the guy's username is Adala. He says you're literally posting headlines with no context of the article, acting like you're proving a major point or some shit. <laughs> and of course, you won't respond to that person. Night. There are four silent K's in Nick. And that article was from 2018. So <laughs> Republicans introduced 253 bills to restrict voting rights across the state. Like, if you're talking about that voter ID shit, like, dude, shut the fuck up. And there are three silent K's in Republican. <laughs> it must be hard. Oh, God. Like, yeah, he's just pointing at shit. He's just fucking pointing at shit. Oh, this is shit tier. The best modern of this is All Lives Matter. No one. <laughs> in human history had ever said all lives matter until someone said black lives matter first <laughs> no i think like the term all lives matter actually came from the mexican community first uh before i think before the black lives matter movement i think that's what i heard i heard it like i heard i read up on it like a long time ago i fucking forgot where i got it from fuck no one says all lives matter until they're black lives matter. I think anyone would fucking say all lives matter. Just not in those particular, in that particular phrasing. But yeah, most people would believe that all lives matter regardless. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> First, all lives matter is a reaction to black lives matter. Just like back in the 90s, you had people say... Mostly because black lives matter is a toxic fucking group and they only look out for themselves. And, and this is fucking hilarious considering... The mother of, like, there was some guy who was shot by the cops, a black guy shot by the cops, and the mother um, was waiting for, like, Black Lives Matter was going to raise money for the mother for, like, well, I think court costs or some shit, and they have not yet, they have not paid her. Black Lives Matter has not paid her a fucking dime. So, yeah, fuck Black Lives Matter. <laughs> fuck them. Because they don't even, um, they don't even pay the people they owe money to. So, fuck them. Uh, more weight media, two dollars super chat. Fat boy DJ Khal uh, Khalid of Femme Propaganda, another one. Oh, Robert Morgan. All Lives Matter was a slogan about abortion from decades ago. But yeah, like Black Lives Matter is actually. Um... Oh, Mr. Self-Destruction, Viva La Rasa. Yeah, Latinos beat you to it. 
But yeah, um, uh, that, yeah. Oh yeah, the leaders of Black Lives Matter are too busy with their four houses they bought. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, Goat Art Bazaar, two dollars super chat. You're talking about Tamir Rice's mother, Samaria. Yeah, they're like they owe her money and they haven't given her a fucking dime. So all this shit he's talking about Black Lives Matter. Clearly, he this man does not read. He has not kept up with <laughs> with any news regarding Black Lives Matter. Let's, that's how you know this is slacktivism. This is none but this is just about uh, jerking off his fucking ego. You know. Pfft. That's why I can't get on board with these fools. Mike Testa, 199 Super Chat. Stop calling people minorities when there's more. <laughs> um, Bogdan the Lurker, $5 Super Chat. What is with so many of these types of people in radical groups and they're all encompassing, all uh, uh, com- encompassing condense- condescen- condescension? Fuck. See, it's getting late and my mouth is like, stop working. Uh, condescension towards anyone who thinks differently. Ugh. Like, yeah, they weren't hugged as children. They did not have a good home life. <laughs> Dr. Diddler, did you see George Floyd's uh, sister say all lives matter? I haven't seen I haven't seen that, but like it'd be hilarious if I found it, if I looked for it. <laughs> the George Floyd sister. Oh. I don't know why I have it in all caps. <laughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> I found it on YouTube. Second link. I mean, night and day, I watched on TV Minneapolis walk with signs, screaming, protesting. Now, the other violence and, you know, trash in stores and stuff like that, I can't promote that. I understand they're angry, you know, but that's not what my family's about. You know, we're not the violence and all of that. You know, they're, they're, I don't know. There's a better, there's a better way to handle it, you know? This is the way I'm handling it, you know? With prayer and tears, mm. you know? Um, but to each his own. But I just don't feel like that was um, necessary. Latonia, you want, of course, justice to be done in this case and yes, ma'am. for your brother. Absolutely. Um, But what would you like to change more broadly? Because this did spark an international uh, movement about Black Lives Matter, about um, cases of police brutality, and and about the treatment. All lives matter. Ah. Well, (laughs) Latonya. Uh, yeah. People saying black entertainment television. Where's white entertainment television? So now that George Floyd's sister said, uh, all lives matter. What the fuck you got to say about it now, fat boy? <laughs> I would say literally every other channel. By the way, Gen Z kids, channels were these things you had to scroll to watch stuff. You couldn't just watch whatever you wanted. Oh, and the, the fuck you commercials. Whew. Anyways, reactionaries are stupid. The... Like we know channels exist, you fucking moron. Cable is still a thing. The best modern example of this is all lives matter. No one in human history had ever said all lives matter until someone said black lives matter. God damn it. First, they all actually lives liked it. It's a reaction to Black Lives Matter. Just like back in the 90s, you had people saying Black. Oh, I wonder how, if I showed him George Floyd's sister saying it. I wonder what, what his fucking reaction would be then. Oh. Hey, you guys think I should do a duos with this and like react to it? <laughs> with like George Floyd's sister saying All Lives Matter? That would be fucking hilarious. In fact, because I do I, like relax but i do have a fucking tiktok account um i just signed in with twitter that's basically all you have to do to get a tiktok account i'm gonna fucking do a duos with this video and respond with george floyd's sister saying all eyes matter it's gonna be the bomb the business (laughs) not right now but i'm gonna do it (laughs) this fucking idiot let's see let's try this he he's got a video with a hot chick in it let's see what well, oh, that is. What makes you think Excuse I watch me. Star Wars? I obviously watch Star Trek. Now, as a Star Trek fan myself, we're obviously not all pretty. Like, <laughs> oh, ew. ew, 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 ew. He's trying to connect with hot chicks with Star Trek, and let's be real. 
let's be real. She, she look, I'm not saying like all hot chicks can't be fans of fucking Star Trek or like any kind of um Star Trek, sorry, or any kind of like sci-fi shit. I'm just saying, like, come on. <laughs> You're trying to like connect with this girl like yeah star trek you're not you're transparent as fuck like you you are not slick like we are fuck <laughs> you are not slick we, we know what you're trying to do right now we know what you're trying to do right now you think this is gonna get you hella head it's not be <laughs> like she was but if you enjoy my content at all, you will like Star Trek, especially DS9. It'll make you feel some feelings. I would highly recommend if you haven't seen DS9, watch it. What makes you think I watched God. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Teenage Kroger worker accused of scamming his employer out of nearly one million. Oh no, how terrible. This is a horrible crime and should never be done. How dare somebody hurt the wonderful brand of Kroger, which does not- No, it's about stealing from your fucking employers. Like, it doesn't have to be like, like, and it doesn't have to be like stealing from the corporation. Like, you could have, and I bet that motherfucker didn't, didn't feed one homeless person with that fucking food. Not one goddamn homeless person. Uh, for Max Smiley, five dollars super chat. No one in history said all lives matter to steal his fucking uh, to steal his fucking reason why we need why we need to say Black Lives Matter. It's because it was already fucking implied without saying it. Really, what the fuck is he wearing? Uh, Kyle Frank is like, is he wearing a toga? <laughs> Uh, holy, uh, holy one, to three, or t holy one, two, three. Uh, how dumb pill do you have to be to defend theft? Sizzler sister, this guy's a piece of shit. Yeah, no argument there. <laughs> oh, pink chai, unrelated, but you're the only thing keeping me above water in this ocean of stupid. And I want to thank you for this, that. To be honest, thank you. Mr. N, why the fuck is he using a shirt as a toga? I don't know what's up with these TikTok niggas thinking they could be thinking they could be on camera shirtless. Like what the? F it's just weird. Like, cause like like I said, this app is just filled with fucking teenagers. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not exploit its employees in any way, shape, or form. Oh, ooh! Like I want to pause it on that face. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Out of nearly one million. Oh no, how terrible. This is a horrible crime and should never be done. How dare somebody. You know, like, you know what they say about shoplifting? They're like, the only person who pays are the fucking employees. Like, you think Kroger gives a fuck? And how the fuck are you get away with a million dollars worth of fucking groceries? Like, how did you do that? And like I said, anyway, you know damn well they were not feeding the homeless. <laughs> they hurt the wonderful brand of Kroger, which does not exploit its employees in any way. Uh, how much you want to bet he's got a video about why he doesn't have a job because, well, all fucking comp corporations are evil. <laughs> and I refuse to work for those assholes. Shape or form. Oh, God. I keep trying to pause it. You know what? I might have to download this. Because I want to... <laughs> I want to get that. I want to screen cap that fucking facial expression. It's full, fucking hilarious. Accused of scamming his employer out of nearly one million. Oh no! How terrible! I hate the this fact I can't fast forward. This is a horrible crime. Marcus, I would suggest. Son of a bitch! Teenage I can't fast forward. Of scamming his employer out of nearly one million. Oh no! How terrible! This is a. Hang on, guys. Hang on. This is some bullshit. I want to screen cap that face. All right, okay, it's downloaded, it's done. I want it, because I want to screen cap that facial expression. That cursed facial expression. <laughs> that evil was coming up. Um, uh... Okay, let's try this one. This actually tells us a lot about how conservatives think. Ex-conservative here. They are scared to death of- 
ex-conservative here, like that makes a fucking difference. Change because they're scared that the marginalized communities are going to do the same thing that they did to them. They're <laughs> Uh, you know, like, this has been proven true. Like, some teachers have been fucking busted for doing this, that exact fucking thing to students. There was one fucking teacher that, like, that was busted. He was telling students that, um, like I said, white, white people had to die or some shit. I f- fucking forgot. It was, like, this crazy black dude who was, like, teaching. Like, this pl- like yeah, there's plenty of examples of people uh, teaching uh, kids white guilt and all this fucking shit. There was one, sc- there was one school that... That was teaching kids to uh, grovel to black people. Like, it's fucking sick shit. But yeah, just pretend like it doesn't exist, dude. Just pretend like it doesn't fucking exist. Just like your 50-inch waistline. Just just pretend it doesn't exist. More weight media, $2 super chat. Baldy sleeps with a waifu body pillow uh, under or over. I say under because he likes to finger his girls. And he likes to be really private about it. (laughs) The powers that E, $5 super chat, boogie plus movie bob equals this. Oh, God. I hate to say it, but yeah. Yeah, Joey Avant, MSA, ex conservative, huh? Yeah, he probably wasn't. He probably uses that shit to legitimize his bullshit. They're scared of the roles basically just being flipped. But you know what? Marginalizing those communities further does not actually help anything. And I wish they could see we have an opportunity to work together to make a future where everyone benefits. Okay. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be a skit, I guess. Woke Hill in elementary. But like, yeah, they're b- basing this fucking skit on shit that's actually happened. If you think they're making this shit up, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> when I've seen this, these fucking articles of, I've seen articles of these, uh, these happenings. Oh, let's try this. You know, it says a lot about a man. (laughs) Male feminist. Ha ha ha. Just can't just say you can't get any bro. (laughs) Same shit. (laughs) How they treat women. Judging by the. Like also like what I find funny is like they want to. Oh, talk. We got to eliminate toxic masculinity because people are always like judging. uh, Like they're always like. Like telling men to man up and like be a man and all this shit, but then he just fucking challenged this guy's masculinity because he judged him for being a male feminist. You're a fucking hypocrite, dude. You're a fucking hypocrite. A man. You're not a real man because you're not a fucking feminist. Like it's just the same. It's a different side of the same fucked up coin, dude. Like you're just. I love how these male feminists don't think they're an extreme. They think they're like the center. They think they're like the, the uh, like a normal standard. Like they're not an extreme whatsoever. Like yeah, there's the like the dude bro, real man, toxic male, whatever. And then there's them, <laughs> and they're on the, the the exact opposite fucking side. Toxic, like toxic. You're not a real man, but like oh, th- they're really nice about it. <laughs> they want you to be nice to girls. That's the difference. Like, they'll challenge your masculinity. They'll say you, you got a shrimp dick. They'll sh- say you got a little dick, and they'll little dick, uh, they'll talk shit about the size of your penis and how much pussy you don't get. But they're saying it in the in the name of women, so that makes it better. That suddenly makes it better. Um, Anthony Baloney, $2 Super Chat. This man is too easy, easy to even debunk. Yeah, I don't I think that you could say that about most people on, Twi- on TikTok, though. This comment, you look at women like their currency. Your wealth, your life's value is stored up in how many women you've been with. Two things. Number one, by your own standards, I bet you're a broke son of a bitch because you do. <laughs> you broke, nigga. <laughs> you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Number two, real men do not. What the fuck does that mean? Value themselves based on how many people they've been with. Real men treat women like people because that's what they are. <laughs> real men treat women like people. Like you just, um. You kind of just did the same thing, called him broken shit. So you're basically implying that women, like, that's one of the main things they care about when getting a man, like, or the only thing they care about is, like, money. You kind of fucked yourself in the ass right there, bruh. <laughs> oh, his beard is, is black here. Oh, well. Oh, let's see this shit. One year after George Floyd's tragic murder. Oh, he spelled murder with three. <laughs> 
I mean, well, I guess it's because you can't say certain words online, but it's still fun. I like to, I like to think he was just putting, that he was just being spicy. <laughs> A hood struggle montage. This bulbous butterball. <laughs> this cracker. <laughs> I can't handle this shit. I'm done, bro. <laughs> this too. He's playing a Tupac song. He's playing a goddamn Tupac song. <laughs> I see no changes. Oh shit. Accidentally muted my mic. <laughs> He's doing, oh God. I gotta rewind that. We're, we're gonna look at that again. We're gonna do that again. All right, go forward. <laughs> He's doing a hood montage. Imagine looking at this fucking moron in his car, putting his cell phone, like his camera phone lens up to his forehead. <laughs> And he's playing like that uh, Tupac song changes. <laughs> like, and he's doing like a hood montage. Oh no. Oh, I gotta breathe for a minute. Whew, my head hurts. <laughs> Cause I just been like laughing at this bullshit. Oh. Oh, Pink Chai, he's over here. He's over here looking like a double decker biscuit with his forehead size of Santa's cup. Oh boy, hang on. We gotta see this whole thing. We gotta. We gotta we gotta get through it. I know I'm probably gonna get like a copyright thing. I don't give a shit. Let's do it. <laughs> this bulbous ass head! I can't take it! <laughs> Joey Avon MSA five dollar super chat. I wonder what color his beard will be next. Probably red again to show how he's a good comrade. It's probably gonna. No oh, that's it. That's all he's... Did he barely put any fucking in... like? It wasn't even a montage. He barely put any fucking effort into it. He just uh, played a fucking Tupac song. Like I got it. This I'm gonna spit this hot fire on TikTok right now. <laughs> barely got any likes or any shit for it. <laughs> oh my god! And like the first fucking comment on this video was Trump Train 2020. <clears throat> Do as the cops tell you. It's easy. Uh, it's easy to do as you're told. Our uh, like face the consequences. And then uh, idiot, idiot, idioter. I think that's his name. Defund the pol defund the police. Now we're uh, now. Where did that get us? Uh, this was an accident that could have been easily prevented with more training. Like like I think he's got more people disagreeing with him in his comments than actually agree agreeing with him. Besides his um his feminist videos. But that's fucking true. I want to meme this because and like like just switch out the uh, the article with other shit, please. This needs to be memed. I swear, this guy is embarrassing. Maybe change the text. I don't know. Let me, I'm gonna download this too. Be right back. I'm gonna download this, and I'm gonna meme this shit. I see no changes. <laughs> This needs to be memed far and wide. I, I, oh, oof. All right, there we go. That's done. I hope this is actually being downloaded and this isn't some bullshit. All right, wait, I gotta switch mice. <laughs> I mean, you know, my mouse. Cause this one is losing power. I gotta charge it. Oh, okay. There we go, that's better. Uh, I won't let me send me to the folder. Fuck it. I'll just. That's fucking cringe as hell. Woo. God damn. Let's click on this. Anyone with a black person would be hilarious to me. The problem is not that African Americans haven't moved on from slavery. The problem is that racist white Americans. Americans continue to uphold the racist beliefs and characteristics of their ancestors. 
she said as she wore a fucking tiara in what I can only assume is the most expensive room you will ever see. We have come very far, yet racist white Americans have been planning a race war for the past 500 years. The <laughs> She's, he's mindlessly agreeing because he wants to want that. He wants that sweet brown sugar. <laughs> he wants that sweet brown sugar. <laughs> Actually, you know Go back right quick. The problem is not. <laughs> this is me and my ex boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know why I'm roasting us. I don't know why. But I just thought it was funny. Because <laughs> I, I can't deny that, like. Yeah, he does look like my ex, but like a really pathetic, disgusting version of my ex. This is how my parents live in this beautiful Greystone triplex for free. It's called house hacking. No, it's called being a leech on society and exploiting your fellow workers. Mao is right. This is how my parents live in this beautiful Greystone triplex for free. It's called house hacking. No, it's called being a leech on society and exploiting your fellow workers. Oh, really, Kami? You gonna lecture on somebody getting some shit for free? For real? For real? Oh, Snoopy in the comments section of this video, he says, giving someone shelter is leeching. <laughs> this Snoopy doesn't like him very much. Oh, oh, LA Williams 28, give me your chocolate punani queen. Oh, uh, Skotsky, uh O2 says, oh, he's a Maoist, even worse. Uh, no, he's a, oh, yeah, he's a Maoist too, or a Taoist. Is it Taoist or Maoist? Whatever. Even worse. Um, Like, this chat is still blowing up. Even in, like, it's fucking midnight already. Officer Buck to Drussel, $5 super chat, planning a race war for 500 years. Yeah, we'll probably be done with the planning stage in the next 100 years or so. After that, oof, better watch out. <laughs> I want your pussy, queen. Give me your pussy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah. Hold on. Arkansas passes bill to ban gender affirming care for trans youth. For one thing, to like uh, elaborate on this, they don't want underage children to transition or do anything like take hormone blockers or any bullshit like, or take puberty blockers or any shit like that, which is fine. I don't know, like, that's okay. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. Especially when half these parents don't know what the fuck they're doing. A lot of parents wouldn't even give their infant kids, well, not infant kids, but like babies, like ear, like piercing their ears. Like what makes you think they're going <laughs> to pump their fucking underage kids with, with, with puberty blockers? Come on. They can't drive. They can't vote and make decisions about the government or who runs it because they're not mentally equipped for that. They're not, not mentally, they're not mentally equipped to drink, do drugs, but yeah, they can take puberty blockers. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's okay with everybody. That's fine. Mike Testa, 199 Super Chat. Uh, black people had a hand in the Atlantic slave trade, mind you. True. Hold on, let's play this shit. Stinky baby. Really? Oh, so bad. oh my god. Like, oh, he said Arkansas is a stinky baby. <laughs> He's such a. Oh my god. This motherfucker looks like a grown ass baby. Oh, Bolt in the comment section says, good bill, bad governor. Which I don't know if the guy's a bad governor, but like. It is. It is a. Pretty, it's a pretty good bill. Like, yeah, you shouldn't be giving underage kids puberty blockers. Like, stop it. Oh, user three three four. Like, it, it's a fucking anonymous user. But go Arkansas. We need more common sense. Like, like no one is supporting him in the goddamn comment section. I mean, there are some people, but like the person who uh, commented on user three 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 four says, "Eat glass," because of course you do. Oh, Mason says he's a transphobe. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 
Oh, what's this one? What's, what we got here? <laughs> The women's movement. Who wanted to do the man's work? Because I fucking didn't. I'd Hi, man here. No, it's not my place. But I really- Then <laughs> shut the fuck up! I know it's not my place. Video over. <laughs> I hope you're being satirical. In case you're not, I just- I have a helpful tip for you. Shoveling rocks is not necessarily a gendered task. In fact, no task is gendered. But I'm just saying, I'm a man and I've never shoveled rocks. I work on computers and computer accessories. I don't believe you have a job, bro. I don't believe you won so... fucking bit. No way you're a goddamn communist and you have a job. I hope you're being satirical, but if you're not, you can find another job. The women's Like, yeah, show me like a clip out of fucking like this is like the most devious fucking app for making a point. The most devious fucking app because you can show a fucking clip out of context. And like, oh there we go. This job's done. All right, this is the last one. This is the last fucking one. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I remember this one. This one was saying, this guy was talking about how like divorce laws are fucked up for men, and like, you know, it's not. It's like yeah, like the um, the family courts are not kind to men. Like you know, and when it comes to alimony and shit like that. Like basically, someone sent sent him this message saying that the majority of divorces are started by women without attempting to decipher why. Abuse, adultery, etc. It's absolutely ignorant and misleading. And then he says, "You see, because men love women for who they are, and women love men for what they can provide." Who boy? Like very fucking cynical. Like ooh, too cynical. Too cynical. And kind of sexist. But like it's still like he's coming from a place. Like he's trying. He's he's coming from a place of anger because of uh because of how men are treated in the courts. And how that goes down. It's like, it's it's not, it's not easy to get fucking jaded. But like I said, out of context clip. <laughs> you can't just fucking do that. Oh boy, a small dick energy like, I want this video. Like, are we oh talking my God. two thick sized here? Dude, if that's really how- Keep in mind, like, this motherfucker's uh, anti- uh, Anti- the Oh my God. This guy's anti-toxic masculinity. He just- you see Insulted his fucking dick size. Okay. Stop. Di oh, I hate this mouse. This mouse. Like, I'll click once and it'll double click. I accidentally keep liking his whack ass videos. Anyway, this guy, I want to see. I want him to elaborate more on this fucking subject. I want him to fucking elaborate more on this fucking subject. But like I said, he shows like two, se three seconds, and we're supposed to know everything we need to know about this guy. Because men love women for who they are, and women love men for what they can provide. Oh boy, a small dick energy coming off this video. Like, are we talking toothpick sized here, dude? If that well, yeah, was, yeah, totally not toxic male when I do that shit. Absolute zero, Kyoko Kami. I think I'm saying that right. Five dollars super chat, J. Fifty bucks if you can say my name. I just say it, Kyoko. Absolute zero, Kyoko Kami. Travis Gibbons and Travis pfft, Travis Gibbons anti-masculinity. You mean like how his body is extremely lacking in every fucking testosterone? Uh, Pink Chai, he's a triple threat male feminist. Uh, BLM and Akami, a three and one. Uh, Yvonne Solomon, wasn't he also complaining about people making assumptions about his dick? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, like, like, look, those rules do not apply to him because he is a Goody goody male feminist, so Arthur Day, but then again, he's the one who dyes his beard. Wouldn't that be small dick energy? Joe Wisner Wisner, that's enough Sims for one night. Let's see what he has to say. But if that's really how you see women, then you have a problem. They're human Like ugh. He ain't gonna be happy until he bags the wrong one onto You know, let's skip this one. Cause he pisses me off. Like this is a, this is one of those subjects that are just like, eh, I think you need to, this is one of those serious subjects. You can't just call the nigga a small dick asshole and then move on, move the fuck on. Uh, K Stoneside, $10 super chat. Someone needs to tell this guy that they don't have mozzarella sticks in communist countries. Oh. Uh.
I had a video that went viral about the reasons the Quaker Oats Company finally decided to rebrand Aunt Jemima into the per- <laughs> Oh, this is the perfect one to land on! Since people are suddenly finding my video on it, allow me to, to direct the conversation to black voices. You're still in the goddamn video, you piece of shit. <laughs> Milling Company. There have been a lot of criticisms about this decision, and I wanted to address the top five now. Number one. This is a plot by left-wing radicals to remove all black representation from grocery stores, and you're not gonna- Yes. <laughs> Why not put another black person on the bottle? They haven't done that shit. The bottle's just blank now. So if, like, so if it's not to take away black- what if, So if it's not to take away black re representation, what is it? They haven't replaced the bitch. <laughs> they haven't replaced Aunt Jemima. I don't see another black woman on that bottle. I just see a blank fucking space now. <laughs> So what is it, bitch? You're not gonna have any more black faces on food products. Well, this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, absolute zero. Uh, uh, uh key. <laughs> Notice how she get like I get finally get the fifty dollars for saying her name correctly, and now I can't say it anymore. Or his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Kiyok, uh, Kiyoko Kami. Okay. Fifty dollars super chat fine because you were you were close. They did Aunt Jemima dirty. That stupid nodding. Yeah, I hate that shit. Because you know you don't give a fuck. Like, stop it. This is rooted in some pretty racist thinking. These aren't usually- <laughs> This is rooted in pretty racist thinking. Oh, stop liking his shit! Usually the people who are truly concerned about black representation- Oh god, that fucking- Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just ask them what work they are doing to promote black representation outside of the grocery store. Secondly, it- Okay, um, so when they do, uh, promote black representation, like, uh, I don't know, how about a black senator? Like Tim Scott or something? Y'all call him a fucking coon and then want to dismiss his ass. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> so, you know, anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, it is still like, you know, like there are black people who are saying, that this is taking away black representation because y'all haven't fucking replaced Aunt Jemima with anybody. It's a blank bottle. So how are they not taking away black representation? Pin up doll, 1996, $2 super chat. Who else wants to stick a fork in an outlet? It assumes that black people couldn't look at the history of this character and see that it was problematic without white people telling us that it was. This was talked about yeah. decades ago in my house. In my house. And thirdly, all representation ain't good representation. If the best thing I thought Aunt Jemima was like, I want to see, where's this video? Where's this video? I thought Aunt Jemima was supposed to be, like, so let me talk about Aunt Jemima Origins. Oh, I need to get out of fucking caps. <laughs> the Aunt Jemima character, oh, it's right here. The Aunt Jemima character is based on the enslaved mammy archetype, the Aunt Jemima doctrine. In the U.S. trademark law, oh, it originates in 1915. A case between Pancake Mix Company and the unrelated seller of pancake syrup. The brand has been owned by the Quaker Oats Company since 1926. Okay. Now let's look at the official website. <laughs> brand origins. It is the start of a new day. Aunt Jemima is now Pearl Mining Company. Oh, right. The brand is now... Use a room technique. Famous self-rising pancake. That, you know, the thing is, though, Aunt Jemima doesn't look like a fucking offensive stereotype. Looks like any other, like, like she just looks like a black chick. Like an illustration of a black chick. Like, not even an exaggerated or offensive one. Also, why the fuck do you have to erase history in order to, like, have proper representation? Hmm. What's this? Back check, Aunt Jemima. This was back in 2020, before... 
we had all this fucking, uh, all this rigmarole. Aunt Jemima model Nancy Green didn't create the brand. Let's see. The claim Nancy Green, the face of Aunt Jemima, initially created the pancake brand and later became one of America's first black millionaires. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. See, like, this is, must be like, this is like the offensive stereotype Aunt Jemima. This looks nothing like the actual Aunt Jemima that we've seen on bottles. In a move to do away with problematic with the problematic past, uh, Quaker Oats parent company, PepsiCo, announced on June 17th that it would retire its Aunt Jemima character. The beaming face of America's beloved pancake mixer maple syrup has long been rooted in a painful racist history. So, like, painful racist history. Okay, but, like, this is where it started. And where it ended is, uh, let me... Where it ended is, like a positive representation of a black woman. Cause that looks like this illustration of like a black woman, but it started in a racist history. Everything that starts in a racist history should be eliminated. Okay. Then like a lot of things need to be given up. Cause like a lot of, who knows? A lot of people were fucking racist back in the day. A lot of rich people, a lot of shit that started probably had some kind of racial either undertones or some person probably said the N word at some point while making like the, the, the Coca-Cola formula. But clearly they like already had advanced from the stereotype to something marketable and nice. But we know we gotta get rid of it all. We gotta get rid of the whole fucking thing. Dr. Idiot, five dollars super chat. I always look at Aunt Jemima and Ben as a kindly grandma and grandpa who wanted me to eat good food. Yeah, that's, that's how I saw it. I'm like, how the fuck? You saw see a black woman on a box and think, oh, this is fucking this is some mammy shit. <laughs> that's more actually has more to do with you than anything. However, on social media, many expressed outrage over the perceived erasure of the legacy of women who have served as brand models are a popular claim circulating on Facebook that is that Nancy Green, the original aunt Jemima model was an ins inspirational figure. Nancy Green, uh, AKA aunt Jemima was born into slavery. She was a magnificent cook who was freed. She rolled her, ta rolled her talents into cooking in into a cooking brand that general mills bought and used her likeness. She died in 1923 as one of the America's first black millionaires, uh, Pat Patricia Dixon wrote in a tweet that has been shared across Facebook. And this is back in 2020. I want to make that clear. The user who shared the screenshot on Facebook declined to respond to USA Today's request for a comment and clarification. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> the origin of Aunt Jemima's pancakes and the initial recipe for the pancake mix was the brainchild of Chris Rutt a former editorial writer for the now defunct St. Joseph Gazette's Rutt and a business par partner, um, Charles Underwood had acquired a flour mill and by trial and error perfected a recipe for self rising premixed pancake flour. Uh, according to MM Mannering, MM Mannering, <laughs> Author of Slave in a Box, A Strange Career of Aunt Jemima, despite the novelty of their new product, Rutt and Underwood encountered difficulty branding it. While wandering the streets, St. Joseph, Missouri, Rutt happened upon a performance of old Aunt Jemima, a popular popular minstrel song written by black musician Billy... Cur Wait a minute. It was written, a popular minstrel song written by a black musician... Billy Kersans in 1875, the song features a mammy racial stereotype of black female caretaker figure devoted to her white family. This image of supposed Southern hospitality inspired the hopeful entrepreneur, which is this, but like they clearly updated it over the fucking years, making it more inviting and nice looking and not this fucking horrid stereotype. Unfortunately, uh, Manring wrote, Rutt's, and Underwood, Underwood were unable to sell their new Aunt Jemima breakfast product. They had no distribution network and little concept of the need to advertise a new product, Manring wrote. Uh, the partners eventually sold their company and receipt, uh, recipe, receipt, recipe to R.T. Da RT Davis, owner of the R.T. Davis uh, Milling Company, the largest flour mill in Buchanan County, Missouri, as of 50 year veteran of the flower industry, Davis was not only able to invest the necessary capital in improving the Aunt Jemima recipe, but he also knew how to successfully market. R.T. Davis decided 
to promote Aunt Jemima pancakes by creating Aunt Jemima in person. He mixed the Mammy uh, and the Mass Market, Manring wrote, uh, after merging his company with Pearl Mining Company. Also, like, you're still calling the, the syrup Pearl Mining Company, even though Pearl Mining Company, the guy in charge of it, still did, like, created, like, the racist imagery. You're still naming it after someone or naming it after someone's company who was racist, who was apparently racist. But, like, you, you really didn't do shit. <laughs> you, really, you just took the face off. But you still got got your a syrup behind a really uh, about around a racist history, so you really didn't do any fucking thing. Uh, Davis sent a casting call for a gregacious the theatrical black woman who could cook the pancake mix at big demonstrations. And here's the Aunt Jemima thingy. Uh, Nancy Green, a 59 year old servant for Chicago judge, fit the bill. Born a slave plantation in Montgomery, Kentucky. Green had the lively personality and cooking skills Dave Davis sought. Hold on, I gotta dim this because my eyes. Uh, Green worked a booth designed to resemble a giant flower barrel, cooking pancakes, singing, and regaling guests with stories of her childhood and slavery. She became a, be yeah, became a sensation and was awarded a medal by World's uh, Fair officials. Green's personification of Aunt Jemima and the character's mythology built, in adverti built by advertising executives earned Davis and later Quaker Oats a great deal of profit. However, there's no evidence to suggest Green ever saw any, any of that revenue, said P Patricia A. Turner, professor of African American Studies at the University of uh, California, Los Angeles, California, in comments to the Associated Press. Uh, inspirational figure. Let's read this shit. Although she played a character, Green was a notable woman in her own right. She served as one of the founding members of the uh, uh, Ol Ol Olivet ba Baptist Church, I think. The oldest acting active, uh, the oldest active black Baptist church in Chicago was a minister and a philanthropist. She enjoyed a kind of social and economic mobility unavailable to black women of her time. According to reporting, by public radio station WBEZ Chicago earlier this month. That is absolutely the irony that she is playing a role, a derogatory a type and character of black women, even though they don't go, they don't use the, the derogatory form of that logo anymore. Like the one, like the, the Aunt Jemima logo we're all fucking used to is clearly updated and made more uh, marketable and friendly and PC. But see, that's not a fucking enough. Like, she can't, like, basically, they're basically saying the fact that she's a slave is fucking shameful. And we don't want people knowing that. That's what this is really about. Because she's got all these fucking accomplishments, yet she still can't be the spokesperson for Aunt Jemima. Well, there's a, there's a lot of racist history. No, you're fucking ashamed of this bitch. That's what it is. You don't want slaves on your, unless, uh, you don't want slaves on your, on these fucking products. That's what it is. Otherwise you would replace the bitch, but you didn't. You didn't replace her likeness. That is absolutely an irony. Said Rami Crawford, who teaches African-American visual imagery at, uh, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago in an interview with WBEZ Chicago. In actuality, this is a black woman who was moving around the country and in a way the world, her her actual mobility in so many ways to find the stasis of the pro problematic uh, caric caricature type. Green died at age 89 after being struck by swerving by a swerving vehicle in the 1920 in 1923 in Chicago, according to her obituary in the Chicago Defender. So like she has this whole fucking backstory. You couldn't like to clean up uh, the racist history. All you have to do is tell people about her accomplishments. Like yeah, her accomplishments are actually good. Like she's not just some like some, like some slave. GTA Driver One. They could have easily put something like a black businesswoman on it, and it would have been better than erasing it. Exactly. 
Mr. Dropkicker shouldn't it be inspiring that she rose up in society despite the circumstances of being born a slave? Yeah, but uh, uh, no, our feelings are really hurt that we have to look at a slave on a bottle. We don't want to acknowledge, we don't want to acknowledge that America did some bad stuff. We don't like those Negroes. Put put Beyonce on the fucking bottle. A woman who has struggled through nothing. <laughs> Like a fucking, uh, like a brainless cipher. Let's put that bitch on the bottle. Okay, and they, their ruling is false. We rate, uh, re rate the claim that Nancy Green, the first model for the Aunt Jemima Pancake brand, was the initial creator and went on to become the first black uh, millionaire is false. But she was the model. She was the model for this shit. Green was chosen in casting call to represent Aunt Jemima and profits went to the brand's owners. Yeah, so they did her dirty dirty when it come, came to the money. So all they really had to do was give the family, of give her family a cut of the money and then tell her story on their website. That's really all they had to do. That's literally all the fuck they had to do. But instead they erase her imagery. They don't, they don't even fucking, fucking replace her with another uh, powerful black woman, like Rosa Parks or somebody. They just leave it blank and have the same name of the company owned by the guy who did the racist uh, imagery in the first fucking place. They don't fucking care about like uh, getting rid of like, uh, well, we just roll. We just don't want the imagery. We don't want to be, we don't want to be, we don't want to acknowledge that there were black slaves. That's yuck, that's yucky. So yeah, that bitch talking all that shit. Oh, well, it's just white people. They just don't want to. They just don't want to. No, you don't want to look at slaves. They got his mammies and Like that's not, because that's not marketable for you. When all they had to do was give their cut, give some of their cut to her fucking family, her ancestors or whatever. That's all they had to do. And tell her story on their website. That's it. Or replace her with someone, with another black woman in history. Uh, who accomplished a lot. That's what, that's what, you, that's what they could have done, but they didn't do it. They didn't fucking do it. So, you know. All right, guys, that's it. My fucking throat is giving out. My voice is giving out. Because I'm fucking dying over here and all this cringe is getting to me. Ugh. Robin Thrush, you mean her descendants. Yeah, that's what I meant. Fuck. Like I said, I'm dying over here. My throat's giving out. My brain is turning to shit. <laughs> Mench man, now my pancakes will be dry. <laughs> bye guys. Yeah, bye guys. I'm out. This is this is taking me the fuck out. I'm gone. Thanks for all the super chats, well wishes, jokes, comments, whatever. Real grateful for y'all. Y'all did the business. <laughs> And I'm sorry for making y'all suffer through this, but y'all know what y'all getting into. So yeah, I'm gonna say bye. Thank you for watching. And um, some vi videos might be a little scarce. Like the next Batwoman reaction might not come out for a while because, because, calm down. <laughs> I am working on uh, uh, the, um, oh my God. I'm working on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier review. I got a lot to say about it. And it's gonna take a lot, of, it's gonna take some work to get done, like the editing and the scripting and all that shit. So yeah, like Batwoman's gonna take a little back seat, a little back seat for now, for, for right now, just, just a little bit. Oh, what was that? What was that video I wanted to react to? That All Lives Matter video. Where the fuck is it? Oh wait, here it is. I want to like the this because I want to. Example of this is All Lives Matter. No one in human history had ever. I'm gonna get back to this later. And I'm going to bookmark it just in case. But yeah, anyway, bye guys. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be working pretty damn hard on this Falcon and the Winter Soldier review because, like I said, I fucking hated that show. I hated it. It was trash. <laughs> Don't like it. It's, it's crap. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Um, like I said, thank, thanks for the super chats. Thank for oh, somebody already gave out a super chat again. Damn, you motherfuckers, <laughs> stop loving me. <laughs> um, Bullet Tooth Tony 199 super chat. Real men like ketchup on their hot dog. Uh, PMS. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bye.